afternoon chat. Welcome in, welcome back. Happy weekend, Eve. How's it going? Hey, Zoom. I just noticed it's Friday and you did the Mohawk again. The Friday, Fryhawk. Just wait till Focus gets here. You're gonna get an earful. You'll get an earful. <laughs> anyway, thanks for lurking. Lurkers make the world go round. And hopefully lurking makes work and, and stuff go quicker. And maybe makes uh, dinner prep more entertaining or whatever you guys are up to. Whatever you're up to. I've just been, uh, I've been just drawing some, some cylinders here. Just been drawing some cylinders in my little, in my sketchbook. That's, that's pretty important and nifty. I think, I think that's pretty cool. Just drawing some cylinders, you know, in space. Gotta get that, that perspective, you know, gotta get the perspective right. That's what I'm working on these days. I usually draw a lot of like portraits, faces with like pointy ears or like horns or funny hair and, and all that fun, weird, you know, drawing stuff. You know, nice first, Spence. Well, that's the first first we've had in a while that I think came after the intro music. Here, let me put my sketchbook away. I was getting a little, I was getting a little into it there. I was drawing, get this not just cylinders not just like cylinders all over the page but i drew one big cylinder and then i thought you know i'm gonna go a little crazy i'm gonna put little cylinders sticking out of the main cylinder make like a cylinder monster so yeah that's that's what i'm looking forward to uh after stream <laughs> draw some cylinders <laughs> oh focus with the second and spence Saving us. No mohawk. We're keeping the hat, though. Keeping the hat. Should we change the party hat color? I'll do it for free if you want. Should we keep the crown, the purple crown, or should we change it? I put it on there because today's a special day. Not quite as special as Sunday. Sunday, we're releasing Doggy Made Ants 4. <laughs> On Sunday, it's Henry's birthday. He's turning 12. The little guy's turning 12. We got a special points reading. You can wish him an early happy birthday if you like. It's only 12 points. Maybe I should have put it in dog ears. Wouldn't that be 84 points or something? Anyways. <laughs> you can wish him a happy birthday. Or you can just say it and save this 12 points. Whatever. If you want. I made it because I thought it would be fun. But it's not his birthday yet. So that's on that's on Sunday. That's special. That's pretty special. And then today, usually and then is after. In this case, I'm using and then as before because I mixed up my words. That's the reason because I mixed up my words. Uh, before his birthday on Sunday, I wanted people to be able to listen to the album earlier than that. And uh, also, it's Bandcamp Friday. I don't want to miss out on Bandcamp Heck and Friday. Bandcamp Friday today, chat. That means that Bandcamp waives their revenue fee, so it's an even better day to support your favorite artists on Bandcamp. Whoa, isn't that amazing? But today we've got the pre-order for Doggy Me Dance 4. So, <laughs> pre-orders, yay! Very exciting. And we've got a sale all weekend. So the new album's going to be $10 Canadian, but you can save half of that or half of anything. Maybe you... Maybe you jumped right on that pre-order, but you're missing previous Doggy May Dance albums. Go fill in your collection. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna just put push this button, and I think that should maybe... No, it's not doing anything. Well, whatever. <laughs> Hang on. I got another button. I got... I got... Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> that should work. I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> The code is B Day Dog. There you go. You go to Bandcamp with B Day Dog, half price off anything, even stickers, which we don't really talk about very often. But I do have stickers. I think the bot knows a thing or two about the stickers. Anyways, yeah, I don't know what's up with the Mohawk haters. Henry Spence says happy birthday. He says happy birthday. Happy birthday. No audio. Well. I can't say anything to Zoom because Zoom's got no audio. So, what, what, what do I what do I even say to that? I'm not gonna just start typing in chat to you. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> I've done that before. That's funny. Now, Focus got a free removal of Mohawk. So there you go. And we want to change the party crown. 
He bought stickers. He likes stickers. He like doesn't like sale. Maybe it's because I was lazy. If I like actually type it. I don't know. I thought maybe he had to warm up or something. I should check on that actually because I think I have it in the title. It should work. Why isn't it working? Oh, because I turned it off. That would be a... <laughs> that would... Yeah, that would... That would do it. Yo, calm down, kidder. Hey, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Welcome in. You're just in time. I'm trying to get my uh, sale command working. <laughs> hey, thanks for following. Welcome in, you guys. Thank you for following. I hope you guys are doing great. Hey, any 7 How you doing? Welcome in. How was music time? Yo, hey, Blast. Nice to see you. It's been a minute. I hope you're doing well. Donut shoes. Hey, how's Bandcamp Friday treating you guys? Hope you're hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. Cool AM7. Well, you just brought it. Bring in all the chip fam. Hey, yo. Out of heckin' nowhere. Thanks for gifting that sub. Cool. Very cool AM7 of you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Love music. Love music, too. Just wondering how to use that. How to use the... What? What? The sale thing? <laughs> we love music, too. I was just talking about... I, I was just talking about... I have to fix this. Hang on one sec. I have to copy this. Paste it. I thought I did this. I swear I did this. Okay. Alright. Now... It should work. Yo! <laughs> Any seven. Me seven underscore gifted a tier one sub to calm down kidder. Hey, this thanks. is their first gift thanks. sub in the channel. Thank you for gifting that sub. Dang you guys coming in here being all heckin' generous. I was playing Zelda the other day. Well, I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom and it's amazing. I'm not gonna spoil anything and I know there's a no spoiler zone because we're not playing it right now, so don't talk about it, but it is incredible. Best game I've ever played. But anyway, there was one part where a character said, Ultra thanks, and I was like, oh, I gotta use that. So ultra thanks for the gift subs, you guys. That's very nice of you. We were just now now it feels tacky to do a sale thing after you guys are gifting subs. Did you just ask Donut Shoes what kind of donuts are his shoes? <laughs> Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, my goodness. Me 7 underscore gifted a tier 1 <laughs> sub to 3x blast. Hey, thank you. They have given two gift subs in the channel. Jeez, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I very much appreciate all that. Dang. Let's go. Yeah, wow. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. This is really tacky timing. This is really, really awful timing. But I just... This should work now. Okay, it works. <laughs> Uh, we're celebrating today because, um, because my little dog, you can see him up in the corner there, he's turning 12 on Sunday, and so every year for his birthday I make him an album, I make him a little, a little chiptune album called Doggy May Dance, and so we're on Doggy May Dance 4, and the first, the first year it was just songs about the dog. And then the second year, it was songs about the dog using the, uh, like, the LSDJ dog sound. I'm gonna mess up everything that's here. Oh, I should have made this a new- whatever. So I was using those, right? And then, starting last year- I have the wrong save in here, so I can't show you, really. I don't like messing with saves, you know, because it- whatever. I guess I could switch. Whatever. Last year, I actually sampled the dog. Thank you for following. <laughs> Thank you for following. Welcome in. Last year, I decided to actually sample the dog because sometimes... Just <laughs> hey, tiny meows. I saw the name. Like, it shows me who follows, but I, I have it anonymous because people don't like being called out. And also, sometimes people make really stupid names that I don't want popping up on screen. So it's kind of half and half. But I saw Tiny Meows followed right after the meow. <laughs> Welcome in. But yeah, I sampled the dog. I sampled the dog. You know, this should be fine. I just like backed up. I backed up. I back up my saves. You guys better back up your saves. There's one song that I made early on. I didn't back up the save. Here, I'll show you. As a special, you know what? I was kind of thinking it might be fun. Where the heck is my... Here it is. I was thinking it might be fun to do like a listening party type thing. And you know, Bandcamp does that now, but I don't really... Why is there one... Oh god, that scared me! Why is there only one song on here? Okay. 
<laughs> that kind of scared me. All right, let's grab, uh, what's a good one? Goodest boy. Yeah, <laughs> 69 minutes of unsaved work. Nice. Yeah, we'll do that. Back up or else, yeah, or else you lose your stuff. But the thing is, so there was one song that I lost, but I streamed it. So I was going through the stream, copying my every move to rebuild the song. It was a pain in the butt. Don't, do not recommend. So anyway, anyway, Pokemon Presents next week. Yeah! I'm trying to be hyped for Pokemon. I'm trying to be hyped for Pokemon, but I'm mostly just hyped for Zelda still. Also, I was going to change the, the little party crown. Let's see what color we get. Okay, ready? Boop, it's purple again. That's not fair. That's cheating. You can't do that crown. Different color. Black? Okay, we'll go with black. All right, so, okay, so here's what I did. Uh, where is... Okay. So I sampled my dog. He's very consistent with his barks. These ones have auto-tune. <laughs> Because he would bark during stream, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna- If you're gonna bark during my stream, not only am I gonna sample it, I'm gonna sample it with auto-tune. And I think the funniest thing ever was I had- Voice mod has been busted for me, I gotta fix it. But there's, you know, Brian who reads the, you know, the text-to-speech, you know. Knee 7 underscore gifted a tier 1 sub, you know, right, that guy? There's one that sounds like that. And so I would put, there was like once or twice I put that one on while the dog was barking and it was like, row, 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 in like the robot guy voice. And it was really funny. <laughs> BK1 tease. Hey, that's actually a pretty good idea. It's a pretty good idea. So, so this is what I've been doing. So the dog himself was doing vocals for last year and this year. <laughs> There's actually some stories behind some of these other sounds. This one's him crunching on a cookie. Because he also eats cookies on stream. Um, the pops. <laughs> so we've got our little dress up game with the eel, right? And I like to I like to dress him up. So, and then I make a little, you know? So if I put a bow tie, you know? That kind of thing. So then I thought I should sample my pop. And then I remembered that when you put these into, like, the LSDJ uh, manager thing, you can change the pitch. So I did that. So that's me going, but then just... So here's... This is... I think this is my favorite song on the album. I love the pops. It's, it's one of the best ideas I ever had, honestly. I don't usually have, like, a streak of genius, but I really think that was... Man, the muse was smiling on me that day. That was a good one. I, why do I like that BK1 t-shirt idea so much? That's pretty good. Anyway, I'll play you this song to kind of, you know... If you haven't been here before, you hear what my music is like. You can hear the, the dog vocals. I am celebrating because this is up for pre-order now on Bandcamp, and it's coming out on Sunday, and I'm really, really excited. Anyway, this one's called Goodest Boy, because that, that's what he is. That's what all the dogs are. They're all the goodest boys, right? <laughs> Okay, something broke and I don't know what it was! <laughs> what the heck broke? <laughs> oh, why did that happen? 
Why did that happen? What the heck? Uh, that's kind of weird. A remix? I don't know what that's all about. That was kind of weird, huh? Why are we off? Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, that's not what that's supposed to... Do I have the right ROM? I have the wrong ROM! I have the wrong ROM! <laughs> I added those sounds and I was like, wait a second, something sounds weird. Ah! I had the wrong ROM on it. Dang it, okay. Chip Chure! Tap and feet, that's a different song. Oh man, okay. Let's try again. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. Wait a second here. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, the dog, he doesn't actually, like, he doesn't actually respond anymore. I think he knows it's his voice, or he just has heard it so much he's kind of used to it. But it's kind of funny. He doesn't really, he doesn't really, I think he did at first. He'd be like, huh, what's that? And then he realizes, like, oh, it's just, it's just Kimmy barking again. So, yeah, that part was kind of weird. It <laughs> I mean, you do you, CDK. If you want to go ha go on a little dog, you want to go be a dog, do dog stuff, you can. Go sniff some butts. That'll probably go over well. <laughs> what if the real wrong rom was the friends he made along the way? That's probably it. That's probably it. Crikey, that's prolific. <laughs> Wait, what is- what? You're, oh no, you're spying on me. How far did we get before it broke? Which- I forgot which instrument it was. I think it was, uh... Oh, yeah. I think it was the wine. <laughs> here, we'll just start it here. We'll just pretend nothing happened, it's fine. There we go. So that's what it sounds like when it doesn't break. <laughs> so yeah, all kinds of all kinds of little sounds there. All kinds of little sounds and stuff. So I was kind of like, I'm not sure what I'm going to make today. I've been focusing on this album so much. Do you get that? Like focusing on it so much. And then it finally comes out. Well, it's not out yet, but you know, like it comes out on Sunday. I'm not still making tunes for it, but it's like, hmm, now what, you know? So I could work with the same ROM, but that's that's what the problem was. I changed the save, but not the ROM. That was the problem. But we got we got a few. What was another cool? Oh, there's one part in this one I really like. I mean the the whole thing. But where's the uh, which part was it? Oh yeah, that part. It's a vibe. Part. <laughs> I 
How's it going? <laughs> I really love that part. I had to throw it in at the end again. I really like that little whining part. Anyway, yeah, so there that's, you know, that's a new one. There's some stuff on here. Like, I made most of these on stream. But there are some you guys haven't heard yet. Someone here you haven't heard yet. But let me... Okay, let me get my ROM back to the one that I was going to use today. Uh, Kemi Pop. That's what I called my ROM. It's a good one. Okay. And I need a save, too. Which save... Oh, jeez, I can't even remember. Hang on, I gotta find my saves. <laughs> Where's a save that isn't dog stuff? Mm, let's see here. Okay, What's it, what's it called? Oh, there, Kemi Pop. Oh, yeah, we made our... It had our Patreon song on it. The one with the wizard, the ancient wizard possessing the dragon. That was the one that we had open. So I think today what we might do... We're, we're at B3 out of BF blocks. So, I'm not sure. Let's see. A lot of these are kind... I can't even remember. <laughs> I can't even remember what all these are. I think some are done. I think some aren't. I kind of want to start a new save. Would that be crazy? Would that be crazy? Should we start a new save? Or maybe just work on some of this stuff. Like, yeah, no, no, you know what? Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. See if we can do anything with these. Yo, hey, Herschel. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. I know you've been having some adventures today. Hope you're hope you're feeling all right and stuff. I mean, this one's like a fun little tribal thing. Kind of cool. vibe. I don't know what to do with it, but it's a vibe. I just really like that little groove. Okay. I kind of want to make a new song. Well, you know, maybe there's one in here that needs to be finished. And I feel like making like a dance song. Like something really oomtsy, you know? Oh, this one. Okay. Okay. Have to go through and hear what it sounds like. It's been a minute. Doing as well as you can be. That's good. Overall doing well. Overall doing well, right? So you guys from the radar, do you, are you guys all LSDJers too? You all LSDJing? It's it's hard to find people or I don't know, or it's, it seems rare like to find people on Twitch who do LSDJ. I think when I started streaming in the category, nobody had streamed in LSDJ in like three years. That said, I think a lot of people just stream under the music category. Like CDK was doing. But, no. Focus, you should start. <laughs> you will be? You didn't know? You didn't know about it? You didn't know about it. I have a... here. It's, it's like donationware, I think is the term. It's free to download. And he accepts donations. 
my recommendation to anybody looking to get into it is just i mean download it for free don't you don't need to pay for it if you don't like if you don't know if you're gonna like it right so you can try it you know for free risk free and all that but then if you like it just make sure you remember to go back and donate a few books even now like i'll go back and donate a little bit here and there just i mean i've been working with it for like four yeah four years now holy smokes and it's so much fun like i just love it but give it a shot you never know I first tried it back in college. Yeah, geez, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I'm like, high school. Nope, college was was just as long as just as long ago. But I think I had like a film project and I wanted to make like a video game type thing, so then I looked into it and I got LSDJ and I managed to cr to make like one song that I used in a project and then I didn't touch it. And then in 2019, I was like, "Hey, I want to try that again." And I went through my email and I found the, the email from like 10 years ago or whatever. <laughs> and then I downloaded it and tried again. And then now I've been working with it for four years and streaming it for three years or something. It's so much fun. And once in a while, hey, we're due for another episode soon. But once in a while, I have a show called Inspiration Eel. Get it? Hehe. <laughs> anyway. And I, I'll, I'll kind of alternate between, like, LSDJ specific stuff or and, like, music stuff. So one was, like, how to... It was just, like, LSDJ for noobs kind of thing. Like, just putting a song together from the beginning. And then the next one I did was, like, how to come up with melodies when you don't have any ideas or that sort of thing, you know? <laughs> we like eel puns here. Yeah, it's it's probably it's it's like my favorite Game Boy game. It's not even like a real Game Boy game. You know, let's start a new song. I want to start a new song. What can I erase off of here? Do we have like an old? <laughs> we have these. Oh, this is another thing I was doing. Okay, okay. We had. Uh... I know there are people in chat who like this too. So LSDJ also has like a a voice thing kind of. There, it's just allophones, like parts of words. It's kind of like a super basic Miku when you think about it. Kind of like Hatsune Miku. And it. it it's, it's just like parts of words. You know? So I think the idea is you're supposed to make it say words and stuff, but I always thought this was more fun. So this one was called Project Owie, and we decided this was about robots being on fire. And that's why they're saying owl so much. And there's also like the like the Bowser, you know, like Bowser from the NES Mario with the, the fire wheels, you know, except lower than that. I can't, I can't really do that. I like this instrument. It's just a whiny 12. It's just a whiny 12. What if we, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? 
what if we just make like a robots like we could just work on the robot album because we haven't worked on this in a while and i'm still kind of not over working with um samples it's just too much fun so let me just here i'm gonna duplicate this save real quick i'm so i'm so uh paranoid about saves jeez okay can i all right we're gonna call this one robits or something robits you know like uh zoidberg oh gosh it's the fourth today not the third oh my goodness robots happy robots there and now we'll put this in here and now we should be able to change it okay cool so now we should be able to delete some stuff that we don't need like everything that isn't robots delete it delete it all get it out of here get it out actually wait that could be what is that one again logical vengeance what the heck was that I'm like trying to sing along, I kind of remember how it goes, not really. Okay, it's this one. I gotcha. I got it. Get out of here. Goodbye. Pew. That's, you know what, that's enough room that we can start another one. What should this one be about? Let's see. Okay. You know what, this might, this might be useful for, uh, for people who haven't used LSDJ2 to see it be built from scratch. See it get built from scratch. Let me try to, let's make some fun little robot thing to start with. We'll just like put it down here and we'll just kind of add it later. So if we're working on the allophones, I don't know if people use this much. Like I've, I feel like it's not something that people do much. So that's a good place to start. Okay, let's say, what about, um, let's think. Robot's first pizza? Ooh. Can I get him to say yummy? I <laughs> can't get him to say yum. <laughs> yummy! Pizza. That's a good idea. We'll try it. Yeah. I think... Uh... That just sounds like a fart. <laughs> How do you uh? Which one's uh? Uh. 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 Yum. Maybe that's the closest we can we can do. Hmm. What if it sounds like he says yam? I see. I don't know how you're supposed to use this. I'll be honest. These ones? That just sound like a little... Like... Th you know what? He can just say ya ya. Ya ya! Like beetle. Ya ya! Yeah, perfect. Yep. Yeah, yeah. This is like a eat, and this is like a yeah. I think if we Let's see. Oh. 
If anyone ever, fi if you guys ever figure out how to use the allophones to actually work together, please let me know. Cause no amount of like delay, like or anything, can to me it's always like ya yeah, ya. Yeah. It's not like ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Hey cheese tree, how's it going? We're just starting some music. We're making robots first pizza. <laughs> Would he short circuit? Would a robot short circuit? We made pizza in in Zelda today. I don't think there was cheese in Breath of the Wild. I was really hoping there'd be cheese in Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, that's the one thing I'm spoiling. I'm sorry. Big spoiler alert. Tears of the Kingdom has cheese. I'm sorry. I I couldn't hold it in chat. I was too excited. I was too excited about it. Ugh. It's so good though. I made pizza. I made Hylian tomato pizza. I was looking for cheese. I finally found some cheese. And I was like, man, you know what? I think we can make some pizza. We'll take some Tabantha wheat, some cheese. I won't tell you where the cheese is from. You can figure that out on your own. They actually put it behind a quest, which I think in hindsight, that's kind of hilarious how you need a quest to unlock cheese. <laughs> Isn't that something? Isn't that phenomenal? Oh, you can get cheese, but you gotta unlock it first. You gotta do a quest. Then you can get your pizza. If we call it Robot Pizza Quest. Yes, Robo Pizza Quest. That's what this song's gonna be called. Now we just have to fit that into eight characters and we're fine. Okay. Uh, robot, it could be like this. It could be robot or ribbit. So, but we'll know it's not about frogs. So we'll know that means robot. Robot, pizza, oh, I need like nine. Pizza Quest. Perfect. Robbed Bzxta. Yep, nothing else that that could possibly mean. Alright, we gotta go work on Robbed Bzxt. Or, whoa. I accidentally started playing, that scared me. <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing. You would just put, hey, that's pretty smart, Duro. I always try to just, like, take out the, the, the vowels and then shorten it however else I can. That's pretty smart, though. Too much pizza would gum up a bot or a person. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The one time you're able to watch in the morning stream, you couldn't because Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, you should have told me. I would have played something else. I probably wouldn't have. I can't stay away. It's so good. It's so good. Tomorrow's Breath of the Wild, though. Tomorrow's Breath of the Wild. I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn because we have a subathon coming up later this month, and I want to do Tears of the Kingdom. But I also, like, don't want to scare people away. <laughs> so I, part of me wants to do Breath of the Wild for that. And then we could always put a... We could always try again for 100%. Actual full 100% of Breath of the Wild. That could be something. As it stands, we're working towards all the Koroks. Kind of. We have and, 155 we were going after. I don't know. You can let me know what you guys think. At first I thought I would do just Tears of the Kingdom like a building stream where people can just tell me what to build and I'll just make stuff and then it's not like story, no spoilers or anything. But I don't know. Because even some of the building stuff. Like I unlocked something yesterday for for building that, you know, I didn't know about. And it's really cool. And I keep finding new little devices and things and I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't want that spoiled for me. So maybe we do another... Breath of the Wild subathon. Play it for 12 more hours. See how many Koroks we get. I don't know. Because I, you know... Because it's still new, but I feel like... Like, I've played new games before. But this one, it's like the biggest... This is probably like the biggest new game in like... Probably since Breath of the Wild, honestly. Adventuring with breaks for building segments? Maybe. But I'm just trying to think like... Because I want people to be able to come in and, you know, because subathons, obviously, there's, like, the, you know, the business side of it that you want people in there so they can sub and stuff because it's a subathon. But aside from that, too, like, I always feel it's it's kind of like a party with the community and hang out. We have fun. We do goofy stuff. I always do, like, MS Paint drawings of, like, my eel dressing up as Link or whatever, you know? So I've got a few Link eels. <laughs> so I want, like, as many people to be able to come in as possible. I'm totally addicted to tears right now. It's so good. It would also be fun to just see how much story we could get out of the way, but that seems like not the best idea. I don't know. Ugh, I'm so torn. 
Because <laughs> I don't want people to be like, oh, I want to go hang out, but I don't want spoilers, you know? And that would be me, you know? Like, Focus is also playing it. If Focus was doing a subathon tomorrow, I would be there. If she was doing a Tears of the Kingdom subathon tomorrow, I'd be like, I'll pop in and say hi, and then I'll just, like, lurk and scroll down. Like, I'll, you know, just put, you know, just leave it open but not watch because spoilers. So, I don't know. Breath of the Wild, there's not really anything left to spoil, but there's also not a lot left to do. <laughs> it's, like, just Koroks, and I feel like that would be kind of boring for 12 hours. Koroks, and I think I need the one Medal of Honor for the Taluses, because I got the... for Kilton. Because I got the Hinox one recently, and I had the Muldugo one, because there's only four Muldugas. Three? Does the king count? I don't know. Whatever. There's three and then a DLC Muldugo. So, I don't know. I don't know. Or we'd just play something totally different. Maybe we could do tears. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Or half and half. I'm I'm kind of struggling because I really want to play tears. And part of me does want to just, you know, because I don't I don't want stuff spoiled for me either. So I want to kind of get through some story stuff so that, you know, the more stuff I've seen, the less stuff can be spoiled. So I don't know. Hey, Bobzilla, thanks for wishing the pupper a happy birthday. It's in two days. But I'm not streaming on Sunday. I think on Sunday I'm just gonna hang out with the dog and, like, make him some special food or something. Just cuddle with him all day. He'd love that. Tears at relaxed pace should work, you think? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I can have, like... I don't know. Well, he's down for Monster Hunter Rise. That would be hard to play for 12 hours. <laughs> but man, I gotta- we never beat Velcana. We never did like the fifth DLC wave. Or the bonus wave after that. I'm still overdue to do some Monster Hunter. There's just too many games, man. But Tears of the Kingdom, it's like- it's the most incredible game I've ever played. It's amazing. If you want to see- If you want to see how much it's been blowing my mind, you can watch that. It's like- it's like 10 minutes, but there's a clip, I think, too, of when I got that ability, and it was just, it blew my mind. I freaked out. I was so excited. And that's not the only time that happened, but that is more or less the only time that's happened in a game, like, uh, for as long as I can remember. I haven't been this excited about a game in ever. I don't know Tiny Meows. I don't know about Tears of the Kingdom, and I don't want to know. Maybe there is, but in, um... In Breath of the Wild, there's Kilton, like the monster guy. And you can get a Medal of Honor for killing all the overworld bosses. So there are 40 Hinoxes, 40 Taluses, and four, well, three Muldugas. I think it's just three, right, guys? And then there's one in the DLC who's the King Mulduga. That game I don't mind talking about spoilers because I'm done it now and it's like six years old, so... I don't know what you're talking about. If it's tears, I don't want to know. So I'm just gonna... whatever. <laughs> no spoilers for tears. No spoilers. I don't want to spoil anything either, like, you know, but I've already said too much. But I thought it would be fun to do, like, a subathon, and then if you, like, gift a sub or something, then you can tell me, oh, you should build a submarine or some... I don't know, and I would just do my best. <laughs> I thought that could be kind of fun, you know? <laughs> yeah, and Breath of the Wild. And I don't, I don't know what you get for getting them all. And I don't know what you get for getting all the Koroks. Okay, so those things could still be spoiled. So please don't spoil those things for me. I'm going to be playing Breath of the Wild tomorrow. So tomorrow morning. I can show you what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Hey, Daitenshi. Lurk in first half day in literal months. Well, have a good half day. Thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, I just, oh man. <laughs> it's tears is just it's just amazing i'm so it's crazy it's crazy anyway but i we might very well end up getting all the koroks in breath of the wild maybe i'll put that as a thing like right now the way i had it is when i'm playing breath of the wild every sub is 10 more koroks that i'm gonna go find so we're up to like 155 more that we need to get i think i had 30 ish so like say 120 more or something to find and I already have 500. So that would bring us to like 620-ish. But maybe when we do our tiers subathon, I'll just make a little side 
side thingy, you know, that we can just go for 100% in Breath of the Wild. I don't know. I'm throwing ideas around. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Hey, Daitenchi, that's so nice of you to say. I appreciate it. I can feel it too, which is crazy. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I was super shy and stuff. And, uh... <clears throat> Like, super duper shy. Oh, this is like, that's like really long ago. Super shy. And then I guess that at some point I got less shy. I don't, I don't know what happened. I started just growing out of it, I guess. And my mom would always say, oh, you, you know, oh, she just blossomed. You know, I, they put me in a different school. I guess that helped or something. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, you know, we, we put her daughter in a different school and she, the way she just blossomed. So it's funny, whenever someone says that, always I'm always reminded of my mom saying that about me when I was a kid. And I was like, what do you mean? I just made some friends, like, huh? But since I went full time, I really feel like I've kind of come into my own a little bit. And like, I know what I'm doing and where I'm going and stuff. That sort of thing. Props for immediately investing in the ability so thoroughly. Did you already peek at that Ascend thing? <laughs> I think there's a clip, like an actual clip that's less than a minute. Man, so good though. It's so good. But yeah, no, I've I'm like I don't know. I feel like I'm doing really good these days, especially the last year or so. Especially over the last year. I've just been focusing on every everything, which usually doesn't work. But I've been trying to like eat better. I've been working out consistently for a year or something, and I've been doing my music every week. Well, I've been doing that for like 3 years now. And I've been drawing more. I started art school again, so that's exciting, like an online art school thing. So I'm really excited. I was drawing some cylinders before stream this evening. So that's cool, you know? I just, I feel like everything's going pretty well. So that's nice. I'm just, I'm like finally pursuing all these things. So, yeah. Heck a rat. Yeah, I, I agree. So if, if any of you guys have, like, things that you've been meaning to do, or if you, if you like, hate your job, let's start looking, like, look for something. At least start up, like, a side hustle. I really feel like most people, unless you just really, I don't know, hate doing things, I guess, it's really good to have some kind of side hustle. Ideally, something that brings in a little bit of extra spending money. That's nice. It's always nice when you earn money from something that you enjoy doing that isn't your job. Like, uh, when I started Chiptune, I would use, like, the little bit of money from my first couple of Bandcamp albums. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy another Game Boy. Or I'm gonna buy some mod parts to mod my Game Boy. Like, I put a backlight in one of them. I got a Pro Sound mod, but I never ended up putting it in. I don't know if I will, <laughs> but I have one. <laughs> you know, so that's kind of cool. Hyperfocus and RSI burnout on Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom has been more chill, less pain. Tears of the Kingdom, I really feel like it's pulling me in every direction. Like, one character is like, there's this thing you should go check out. I'm like, alright, I'm on it. And then another character will be like, hey, have you seen this place? Yo, there's stuff going on. I'm like, what the heck? And then somebody else will be like, mahaha, I'm causing trouble over here. And I'm like, I don't I don't know where to go. In Breath of the Wild, it was very obvious. There were a bunch of Zoras being like, yo, Prince Sidon needs your help. And I was like, okay, Sidon's my favorite. I will go help him. And then I do. And then from there, they're like, yo, Goron City. I'm like, oh, Gorons? Alright, I'm there. And then after Goron City, they're talking about, like, the Gerudo town, right? Like, okay, sure, I'll go help a Gerudo town. And then from there, they're like, oh, Rito Village, you know? Okay, go help the Rito. Like, it's very, go here, go here, go here, go here. You know? As in, we got, like, two conversations going on. <laughs> yeah, don't quit your day job. Don't do that. <laughs> That's funny. That's exactly what I did, Doro. That's exactly what I did. And actually, just, uh, like, a week ago. Wait, was it last week only? Feels like longer ago. I quit my job. I quit my day job, but I don't recommend it. Yeah, just a week ago. Dang, this last week feels like I've did, I've done so much, it feels like it was a month ago already. Last Thursday, I celebrated two years of full time. So the plan, I had like a pretty okay job. Like it was, you know, steady and I was making all right money. Like it was okay. I had benefits and all, you know, all the stuff from like a decent job. It was, the work was agreeable. The people were pretty good. It was it was all good, you know, for like five years. And then COVID hit. <laughs> and, you know, like I one of the things I really liked about the job was it felt like everybody cared, including management. Like they're like, yeah, if there's anything we can do to help or, you know, support you in any way. Like they were very, you know, team meetings and all this stuff. Right. Oh, yeah, it's great. And then COVID hit and then they suddenly it was the most stressful thing in the world. 
you know, it, it is never more difficult to stay healthy than when you're trying not to get sick. I was sick constantly for like the last year of work. Not COVID, but I would get like headaches from stress or I would get a sore throat from talking too much because I had to talk a lot for my job or I'd be stuck over time or whatever, right? So here's a situation. Here was one thing that happened, right? So there was one time where I did get a sore throat because I was working overtime and I just blah, 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 blah. I had to talk a lot. And so my throat was just wrecked because I think I ran out of water, but I couldn't really go get more. So it was just bad. And my throat was really hurting. But I knew that was the reason. I knew it wasn't COVID, but still. Uh, so and then the way the rules were here in Canada when we first started, it was like, you got to you got to uh, call like the health nurse or whatever and just do what they say. Cause, cause you had, Oh, I'll be, be, back up, back up. So you go to work, they have like a screening thing. Do you have this? Do you have that? Whatever symptoms. Right. And if you remember at the beginning of COVID, everything was a symptom, like literally everything, coughing, headache, sore throat, all this stuff that happens all the time. But every, like this, you, somebody coughs, like oh, you go, you better do a test, go do a test right now. Go test for COVID. You coughed, oh, get away from me. Go test. I don't want to hear anything from you after you've done a test. And that one could have not been good. So do two tests just to make sure. Remember, everyone was super paranoid about everything at first. So one day I had a sore throat. And then, of course, the screening thing was like, do you have any of the symptoms? I was like, well, I have a sore throat. And they're like, oh, don't come into work. Call the nurse. Okay. So I called the nurse and I was like, hey, nurse. She's like, what's wrong? I'm like, have a sore throat. Okay. And uh, stay home for two weeks. I'm like, what? I was like, okay, well, you know, I was, uh, I was working late. My job involves a lot of talking. You know, I had lots of customers I was dealing with, whatever. I'm positive that's why. Does it, you know, do I still need to isolate for two weeks? Like, yep, don't go anywhere. I was like, all right. And that was when Animal Crossing came out. So I just stayed home and played Animal Crossing for two weeks. I was like, sweet. Okay, cool. But then I go back to work and they're like, okay, so that's like an incident of being sick. That's like an incident, you know? And then... Um, I had, I don't know, there was all these things, but every time you had any of those symptoms, you had to call in and then every time they'd be like, oh, don't go to work, like every little thing. Whereas normally you just like pop a Tylenol and go to work anyways, right? Every little thing, they're like, no, we don't want you here. So they would basically make you call in sick for every little thing. But then every time you call in sick, they're counting it as like an incident of you doing something bad. <laughs> and then you rack up these incidents and it got so stressful because I was like, I can't, I can't get sick. I'll get in trouble if I get sick. And I'm stressing about staying healthy. I was sick constantly. And then I was in trouble for calling in sick. And I was like, what am I supposed to do? I was freaking out. And then there was one day, this was the, the final straw. Because at the time, I was like, all right, music is going pretty good. Twitch is going pretty good. I think this is what I want to do forever. This is good. I'm not ready to quit my job yet. I still, you know, benefits are good. Still need a solid paycheck, you know, that would be great. You know, can't really give up on that just yet. So then I, I figured I'll stream or I'll, I'll work for another year or two and streaming at night because I used to stream Tuesday, Thursday, for um, Saturday nights when I first started, right? Okay, I'll keep going to work during the day, streaming at night, another year or two, then maybe, maybe I'll be able to quit my job. But then like a little bit later, there was one day in particular where they were super busy or they were like anticipating being super busy. And at this time, there were people working from home. There were people working in the office, but you'd be like several desks away from people. Like it was very distant. It was it was pretty OK. <clears throat> but there was this one day in particular. They need they're like, we need everybody. Every single person who works here needs to work this day in person in the office. You couldn't work from home. You couldn't not go. I tried to book the day off and I think, I don't know. They just literally everybody. So I, I went, I didn't want to. I told them, I was like, I don't feel safe. I don't feel comfortable, you know, <laughs> going in when everybody like a hundred and whatever people in this one space. I was like, I don't feel comfortable with this. This was still early COVID when people were dropping like flies, you know? It's a little different now. It's, you know, it's not as bad. But that's back when I would have, like, nightmares about it. Like, it was really bad. So I went to work. <laughs> like everybody. I had my first panic attack ever, and I, like, ran out of there crying, and I was like, I'm going home. I can't do this. 
And then that was when I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm quitting. I had to. Right? But the thing is, it was the whole, like, business needs. That's their, that was their favorite thing to throw around, was, like, business needs. Right? I'm sure you guys can relate. I'm sure everybody's had some kind of job like that. But, like, the, the, the supervisors and managers were all good, but then it was, like, the people higher up were like, okay, but we need to meet business needs. We need to... And it was crazy. So it was really weird. And then for me, too, like, calling in sick any time, any little thing, I'd, I had to let them know. And if I had a symptom, I had to call the nurse, and then the nurse would say, you have to stay home because the nurse is wanting to, to people to be paranoid, right? So the nurses always say, well, you got to isolate, you got to test, whatever. Yeah, it was crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it was, it was, it was bad. So <laughs> the doctor's like, yep, you've got anxiety. Congratulations. All right, cool. Great. But no, I absolutely, like, I, if that hadn't happened, I probably would still be working there. I would actually have just gotten home, in fact. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was so stressful and bad. It's sorry to go on a tangent, but it just, it's one of those things that makes me so grateful for where I am right now. And like, you know, for you guys and stuff. <laughs> I'm so glad that I can do this. And if I, if I can make people like a little bit happier, if I can bring you some smiles, make you laugh because I get spooked at something in a game or whatever, like, it's just nice. And I think it's important too to not be so serious all the time. Yeah, yeah, that was an interesting little... <laughs> yeah, anyway. Not to, like, vent or throw this all at you, but yeah, no, I was- I was not planning on doing that, so I don't recommend it. <laughs> but I'm not the only- I'm not, you know, the only person living here, so I have another person with another income, which is more stable than mine. Uh, it is- yeah, it's good to vent about it sometimes. But I feel like it also keeps me humble to remember, like, you know, where I could be right now and where I'm not. But, so all that, all that to say, if you hate your job, look for, <laughs> don't stay there. <laughs> Henry, do you want a cookie? Another one? This dog's been having treats all day. You guys gave him a treat this morning. I took him out for a walk and then I brushed his teeth, which is a treat because he has like chicken flavored toothpaste, which is a treat if you're a dog, right? And then he got a special like toothbrushy treat. Hey. <laughs> Me seven underscore gifted a tier one sub to tiny meows. Tiny they have meows. given three gift subs in the channel. Any seven, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It's incredible. Your story is taking such a positive turn. I really think so, and it's it's yeah. And I feel okay. Come here, puppy. Come here. I feel like guilty sometimes that I'm able to do this because I want everyone to be able to do whatever. Thanks for gifting that sub. All the subs, dang. <laughs> oh, is that a good cookie? Yum. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, good boy. I'm gonna have to buy more of these. The super crunchy kind. Aw. You're such a good doggo. That's another thing. I get to be home with the dog all the time. And he's kind of old, so leaving him in a crate for eight hours is just not... He's gonna be 12 on Sunday. I'm so... You know? I'm so glad I get to be home with the little guy. Hey? He's the best co-worker I've ever had. <laughs> And even, even collabs on my music. Hey, you're such a good little collaborator. Hey, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. I was texting my husband earlier. I was like, I was like, I took our little vocalist out for a walk. Here you go, puppy. Here you go. <clears throat> that was another thing. Maybe not a big deal to most people. This one, most people probably don't relate to, or maybe a little. But this dog is terrified of thunderstorms. <laughs> and if I was ever at work... And I saw like a storm coming, I'd be like, oh no, and I'd start <laughs> I'd start trying to like trade shifts with people. Hey, anybody want an extra couple hours today so I can go home and be with my dog? He's terrified. 
He's probably peeing in his crate right now, just trembling, being all scared. It just broke my heart. I couldn't leave. I was like, man. So now if there's a thunderstorm, he just curls up with me on the couch and it's so nice. And he's less scared too. He's less scared. Sometimes I put a little Spider-Man t-shirt on him. It makes him brave. <laughs> anyway. You should make some music, but anyway, I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for supporting me and everything. And I, I really, truly hope that everybody can have this kind of success with whatever you want to do. I mean, I still have a long way to go, but I'm in such a better place than I was two years ago. So, yeah. But if you have, like, a side thing that you're doing, or even just, like, it doesn't have to be something that makes you money. It just kind of helps if, if it does, you know, take a little, a little pressure off or just have, like, some fun spending money. At first, when I started streaming and I had my job, then the stream just paid for more stream games. So I was like, sweet, I can buy games when they come out now. <laughs> I've always been super cheap. And I would always wait for sales. But then when I started streaming, I was like, mm, well, you know, chat's gonna want to see me play this. So I guess, I, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll buy the new Mario when it comes out. I guess my hands are tied, you know, that kind of thing. And then, of course, I quit my job, so I don't really do that as much anymore. But that's okay, because now I got Tears of the Kingdom. I never need to buy another game ever again, right? <laughs> Probably not for a little while, anyway. <laughs> Thanks, cool. Thanks. It's... Uh, I don't know. It's still... It's kind of amazing. It's amazing. I also... But, I mean, I have a really supportive family, too, which helps a lot. It helps a lot. But I mean, even doing stuff like anything. Any kind of like freelancing or anything. Heck, you know what? My first goal was just to work like part time. Just go to the office a couple days a week and streaming, you know? If you have a side thing that can like, maybe at first it's a little extra pocket money. Maybe eventually it replaces one shift a week or two shifts a week or you're doing half and half and then eventually you're... You know, you can quit your job. That kind of thing. <laughs> It'd be nice if they did, Cheese Tree. It'd be nice if they did. We have to stop saying mean things about them, though. That'll probably help, huh? <laughs> that would probably help. I don't say that many mean things. Mostly just disappointed things. Because they make some choices that aren't the best. But Tears of the Kingdom is amazing. <laughs> It's amazing and it keeps, it's like when I was a kid, when I was a kid and I played Pokemon Silver, it was like, I got to play the new Pokemon game, but then after, you know, after you beat Johto, you could go and play the whole Kanto thing. It was like two games in one. And then you got to fight Red, your character from the first game. I was like, man, hey, if they remade those games, if they like remade them, they could actually make it your character. So if they remade red and blue and yellow or whatever, I don't know about yellow because that's Ash, it might be different. But if they remade red and blue, they could actually save your character. And then in silver and gold, if they remade that, they could make you fight against your party from the previous game, but with like perfect IVs, whatever level. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. No one's perfect, especially not a huge corporation. That's true. Oh, we're putting the mohawk back. We're putting the mohawk back. There you go. I'm just telling myself it works with the crown. It's okay. The thing with Nintendo, I don't really, I don't really want to get into it. The thing with Nintendo is they're they've been around for like hundred, not hundreds of years, but they've been around since like the 1800s. Wait, that is like no, not 18, not 1800s. I'm blow I'm I'm drawing a blank. I'm not sure if they were founded in the late like 1890s or something or like the early 1900s. Point is they've been around for like 100 years and they've they've changed a lot. They've changed a lot, but I think it's, and and being a Japanese company, I know Japan is very traditional and stuff, you know. So there's some things some of it I think is just cultural. And might not make sense to a Western brain like mine. But I think also uh, Japanese traditions can be kind of stubborn, to put it, you know, <laughs> to put it lightly. So that might have something to do with it. Was it 1889? Dang. 
<laughs> I agree, Tiny Meows. There's, again, I don't want to spoil anything, no spoilers for Tears of the Kingdom, but there was, uh, like, uh, there was, okay, so there's cer certain places you can go in Tears of the Kingdom, if you know, you know, right? And I discovered one place you could go, which everyone knew about. And I was like, whoa, this is like two games in one. This is like double the game. And then I found another place you could go. And I was like, dude, this is like triple the game. I'll pay an extra 10 bucks for it. I'm in Canada, so it cost me over $100. But it was like the best 100 bucks I've spent in a long time. Also, we have an ad coming up that I just can't snooze anymore. So we should probably take a break. That is uncanny, Cheese Tree. That's kind of... I didn't realize they were born in the same year. That's kind of wild. But yeah, it's so much more than just, like, Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> Through several revisions, yeah. I have a pack of their Hanafuda cards that they had on the My Nintendo thing as a reward, like, a million years ago. Uh, they, did, they didn't have anything uh, shouting out their previous uh, business endeavors for some reason. Maybe they could do, like, a, a pin-up calendar with all their princesses or something. I don't... <laughs> anyway. Anyway, let's take a break. <laughs> we got this ad going. I'm sorry. Let's listen to some Doggy May Dance 4. Listen to some Doggy May Dance 4. And I'll link it, because, you know, I gotta do some shameless advertising. That's what, that's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. They redid them recently, but the older ones were nicer. Are you talking about the ones you can buy? Because I know I saw some in the store, in the My Nintendo store. They also made like the Decayed Master Sword as like a pin, but it's really expensive. It's expensive for what it is, but I wanted it. Uh, and they have like cool shirts and stuff. I was like, man, that stuff is cool. You can't really justify it though. But I, I don't know. Tears of the Kingdom is the best. It just, it swooped right in and, and took place as my favorite game of all time. I don't know how it did it. It just, shoom, up, there, there you go. Before that, it was Monster Hunter Rise. At first, I was saying Tears was my favorite single-player game, and that way Monster Hunter could still be my favorite. I'm like, heck, Tears of the Kingdom is my new favorite. Monster Hunter Rise is my favorite multiplayer. Because, let's be honest, if you're playing them single-player... Zelda, I find anyways, just more fun. Monster Hunter with friends, though? Nothing beats Monster Hunter with some friends. Didn't know he could pay money. Yeah, it's like the, well, the Nintendo store. They got all the Zelda merch, and I want all of it. <laughs> anyway, let's listen to some chippy tunes. Some puppy dog tunes. Where did I put this album? I keep not being able to find it. I should just leave it open. Where is it? Doggy May Dance 4, there we go. All right. Enjoy some puppy dog tunes. We'll be back in five to seven minutes. Have a good break, chat.
Welcome back, chat. Hope you enjoyed them puppy dog chip tunes. You know the deal. Why do I have a link code? Did I bump something? Why do we have a Monster Hunter link code up there? What? Where did that come from? <laughs> uh, there. <laughs> Not playing Monster Hunter right now. But if you want to make a lobby with my code, uh, be my guest, I suppose. Anyway. Then. Alright, so here's our song so far. We've just been chatting. It's nice to chat with you guys, though. <laughs> you know what the yes sounds like? It reminds me of the Martians from, like, the Muppets. Yep, 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 yep. Phone. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Remember those guys? The yep, yep Martians or whatever? Man, they were awesome. They are my favorite. But also, also, uh, Animal. Animal's my favorite Muppet. I like Animal. <laughs> the whole, the whole band, they're pretty cool. But Animal's the best. And then those guys. And the Menomina, oh, the Menomina guy. Any time that somebody says phenomenal, <laughs> or if I say phenomenal, because I started saying it a lot, I don't know why. I started saying phenomenal. And every time I say it, I'm like, phenomenal. Dun 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 dubstepy sounds. What was I gonna do? E minor pentatonic? What if- chat, what if we did E minor pentatonic? Is that a good one? I like E minor and I like pentatonics. Let me write out my notes so I don't remember. So E minor, let's see, so E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. But then a minor pentatonic, so no F sharps. And then no B? No wait, no C. So we got E, G, A, B, D. Is that right? Let's try that. <laughs> Recently watched the Muppet Band's Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh my goodness, I forgot all about that. I feel like I must have seen that ages ago. Like, probably when I was a kid and didn't know what the, what Bohemian Rhapsody was. Oh, man. Time flies. You know what? <laughs> you know what movie I've been thinking about? Or what series I've been thinking about? too much lately like it's weird because that i would think this much about it because i don't think i like it as much as uh the amount of thinking would uh would hint at but i've been thinking about austin powers a lot lately and i don't know why maybe it just reminds me of a simpler time but i was like man should probably it's probably time for a rewatch time for a rewatch i think you know i think it's because i hadn't really seen them and then my partner and I, uh, we watched, like, a bunch of them, like, way, way, way back. So maybe I'm just feeling a little nostalgic. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh! Dang, that sounds cool. Don't worry, it'll sound like something. It doesn't sound like much yet. It'll sound like something. Why did I put this in pulse 2? Okay, this isn't anything yet. Let's make it a kick. Make it a kick drum. No, wait, I want to spell this one with an I. It's kind of stupid, but I spelled kick with an I the other day. I don't usually do that just because the one is closer. But I did it once. I'm like, well, I gotta do it twice. So it wasn't a fluke. <laughs> Now I'll never spell it with an I again. <laughs> your brains do weird stuff like that. Do you guys count your steps? I do... Uh, I do weird brain stuff like that. It drives me nuts sometimes. Hmm... What are we thinking? Four on the floor? Or maybe... Dum, 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 or something. Dum, dum. Why does it sound so like this? 
Not sure why, but I like it. Oh, because it's on two. Heck, let's go with two. Sounds pretty cool. I like that. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to put one of these. Always with the happy accidents. Man, I live by that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe just yeah and we want more I guess why not by the way if anyone has questions about this program go ahead and you know don't be shy because I love talking about it. This is my favorite program, pretty much. This is my favorite game that isn't Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I wonder how many hours I have on here. Just this... Well, just this save is like... Wait, 3 hours, 15 minutes? Or is that 3 days, 16 hours, 23 minutes? Is that 3 days? Like 70-something hours? Whoa. Just this one save, though? I mean, I did a save as and I deleted a bunch of stuff, so that's kind of not counting. When do I start using this? Oh wait, do I have... do I have... Boom. <laughs> April 6, 2019. At 6.02 p.m. Well, that's when I downloaded it. April 6, 2019. That's when I started using it. And I started streaming it in May of 2020. And I started putting out music in June of 2019. I'm going backwards now. I think we should use the fart. Where's the fart? Where's my fart? I can't find my fart chat. Oh, wait. Ah. There we go. There, perfect. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we can make it even fartier. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> yeah. And then I think here we can have or something. Two, three, four. Is that four that I was working on? Yeah, I think so. Wait, one and two. Oops, no, it's on three. So I want like a So you got E, F, G, A, B. No, wait, we have no B. No, we have B. Okay. Phew. That was a close one. No F sharp, no C. That's okay, I don't like C anyways. How do I do a but a but a I want like B A really quickly. Okay. I don't know what to call this. Um nothing nothing against C. But C is just, like, the most generic sounding note, in my opinion. And it's funny that I even have an opinion about that. It sounds like such a snotty music snob thing to say. But, like, you know, C major is what you learn when you're a kid. And it just, it just seems so normal. It just seems so normal. I like to be a little more adventurous than that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Something like that. What if I put... Okay, what if we have something here? Transpose. I think that works. Now you're just putting words in my mouth. <laughs> Whoa. But, um. Why is it not? Oops. Or 
Or do we just put, I guess we just put a hop. Is that what I want? Let's just put a hop command. And then it should just stay there. Well, that's too far now. Does that is that is that doing B A E B E? It's so fast. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I'm gonna call this one half down. I'm not gonna know what the heck this is, you know, in the future. But that's okay. <laughs> I only need to know what it is for now. Yep. I'm gonna call this lead. So now... Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. Ah, uh, four... Da -da. This should go on four instead, my bad. Yeah, like that. Yeah, now you can hear it when it's higher up. And I think we should maybe do this. Put it as a... That. It'll sound a little better. Oh, wait, maybe this should go here. Yeah. So I'm trying to do some math, right? So, okay, here's a weird thing about LSDJ. Is the way you can think of each of these rows is like a 16th note, right? So here, this is kind of like 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and, right? 3 E, uh, 1, 3 and, and, 1, and 3 and, uh, <laughs> right? So, but each of these rows, each of these, like, quote, 16th notes, takes up a certain amount of time in the program, and that unit of time is called a tick. So, basically, there's no way to make this sound basic, but I'll, I'll try it. So, each one of these takes six ticks. So, what I want is for this one to basically change note three ticks of the way through. So that it's like changing halfway, so it's like two notes in one. And I think that's about right. So that, that works. What if we put some snare in here? I like that. I like the fart noise too. It doesn't usually it doesn't usually sound very nice. But it sounds funny. <laughs> but it is kind of nice like when you put it in with other stuff. It it's like a cool rhythm thing, you know? It's kind of cool. It's kind of like Mario bumping into stuff. Not quite, almost. Uh this is not I. This is N. What was it? N. Nope, it was K -k -k it was Keith or whatever. Like, that's what I usually call it. And I'm calling it Keith. That's Keith. K Keith. Or something like that. Make sure we're naming all our instruments. Oh, there's just nothing here. What if I pitch him down? I love playing with samples. Whoa. Whoa. I don't think you can... Whoa. That just sounds muddy, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what 
which can maybe uh, go over here. -na 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 -na. This is really cool too. The S command makes these cool uh, video game sounds. That's all I can really. I know everything is technically a video game sound, but you this, you know, or you can do the one that goes down like. You know? Very cool. <laughs> Chef Kiss. We'll call this effects because it's I'm using it for effects, so I don't want to be adding effects to the instrument, if that makes sense. And it's gonna be this, so we're gonna say 50, because that is a 50% what is it? Duty cycle? <laughs> Duty mole. That word always reminds me of uh, Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> you said duty. <laughs> what, 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 what was the game, the Call of Duty game? It was like Soldier's Duty or something. I forget what it was. I gotta watch Wreck It Ralph again, too. That's better. I know I said no C, but actually, what's the devil note here? Perfect. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is supposed to be about pizza. Uh, yes. Yep. <laughs> Maybe they're excited about pizza. They're like, what is this? Smells good. With my, uh, scent sensors, because I don't have a nose because I'm a robot. <laughs> Chicken and same pizza. We could try. It's really hard to get it to actually say words that sound like words. I try <laughs> well, on Doggy Me Dance one. So four years ago, when I was making the puppy dog album, before I even had the idea of sampling my actual dog's actual bark, I had thought of. I was trying to make a song called Wiggle Butt because <laughs> my dog, his tail is so short. That he does, like, he wiggles his tail and it's, it's so short he just wags his whole butt. But I think a lot of dogs do that. Because they just get excited and wag their whole butt. So, I was making a song called Wiggle Butt and I was trying to get the robot to say Wiggle Butt. And that was, it was, like, Wiggle, Wiggle. It was really, <laughs> it didn't really come across. But, you know. <laughs> it was a nice idea. Maybe someday I'll have it, I'll be able to get it. All right, pizza. That would be in here. Oh, we already have those. I don't need that. Okay, pizza. Where's pizza? No, that would be here. Nope, that would be... Oh, Keith. Pizza, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Um, so the problem is this is the puss sound that I have to work with. Yeah. I think this is gonna be under E. No, 
We need the next one over. Oh, we don't have an elk yet. What was the one I just made? <laughs> ah. Elk. Sweet. Elk. Oh. Oh no, it is under. Tsa. Huh. How do we do a tsa? <laughs> Uh, hmm. I don't know if there's like a Z sound in here. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, well, there's. Okay, so that's. Ah, oh, crap. Which one was that? Okay. I don't know what this is. Ch pizza, pizza, maybe. And then, uh, will be. And then if we kill it, so it doesn't go too long. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of close. Do we have an S? I think we do have an S sound. Maybe if we do P T S A or something. Yeah, like a hard T. Well, that's also whichever one I just had. Usually I make them all at once and I put them in order. This is a really unorganized way to... Hmm. Let me copy-paste this and I'll try... <laughs> yeah, we need our kill command. And then do we have like a... There's no S. No S. Maybe we do need to go with... The only thing I can think of... So you can also delay things. You know how I was talking about ticks earlier, right? So there's six ticks, right? In each one of these steps. These are called steps. So here... If I delay it... It'll be closer to this, so instead of like put e, maybe when you like pizza, you know. Hey. I think this is it. What do you think? Hey, that's pretty good. He's saying pizza. We got a pizza butt, chat. Hey, not bad. Pizza. Pizza. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So delaying this by six means that this one basically starts when this one goes. Pizza, pizza. I put it here and then... You can't twerk to this. Why not? It's about pizza. Pizza twerk. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. pizza. So the only other weird thing is instead of it starting on like one, it's starting on like E. So... We can't really... We could... Do this. And it's like pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. pizza. Maybe quite fun. Oh, we're having a we're having a veritable Mohawk war today, aren't we? There we go. <laughs> that I think that's pretty good, all things considered. That's I think that's as good as we're gonna get. And then pizza, pizza, wop wop wop. We need a wop wop wop. Wop wop wop. Which?
they talk and they talk 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 yeah i'd say that's pretty good they talk they talk they talk they talk just just try to not twerk to this they talk 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 they not bad not bad. Strengthen the the P. Yeah, I wanted to see how it sounded with everything. They talk, they talk, they talk. We can also double it up. Here's a trick you can do, right? You can. They talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. That's really not obvious. They talk, you they can talk, offset it a they little. Talk, they 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 talk. That works. And then they talk, 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 they talk. Okay, I want a hi hat in here, so it'd be like brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
So to make the bois, <laughs> I make it like a little smaller, like, you know, it's like it does, I don't know, maybe I just hit my symbol funny. You know? It's like it should start a little smaller. It's almost like, it's like the drumstick whispers to the symbol before it smacks it in the face. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Tingle. <laughs> so now... Man, we're actually talking about grooves a lot. We're talking about ticks a lot. So again, these ticks... So this is where you can see. You know how I said all the ticks are six long? Or all the steps are tick, six ticks long? Gosh, it's so hard to say. I'm gonna make one where they're different lengths. What? You can mess up your timing with this if you mess up the lengths of the ticks. Think about it. It's like if a 16th note took up like a different amount of time than a different 16th note. That's kind of that's kind of what it is. So yeah, like you can make like a shuffle kind of thing if you want. But what I like to do here, this is kind of cheating. So basically what I'm saying is this one is going to be 3 ticks instead of 6 and then this one's going to be 9. So, I want to put some bass in here, but I want the bass and the kick drum to both land on beat one. The Game Boy can only make four sounds at once. So, to make the bass actually start on beat one, it needs to not be in the same channel as the kick drum. But I'm stubborn, and I want to save space, so I'm going to put it in the same channel as the kick drum. But I'm going to make the kick drum so short that you get the, the impact from it, but then you immediately get the bass. I'll show you what it sounds like. So this would just be normal. It's like, it'd be like one E and, right? You kind of hear it. It's kind of fast. One E and, three E and. But if I do this, then it'll sound more like one and, and this will sound like it's on V1. You can even see the arrow kind of skipping while it plays. It's not sure what to do compared to this. And to go the other way, I could make the kick drum extra long and then this would basically start happening a bit later. You know, so you can do all kinds of stuff. So that's how you make like swing and stuff like that, which is also really cool. You can do that or you can use the delay command like I did before. Because if you delay a note by three ticks, it basically makes it occur half of a step later. This, like, if you're not really into this and it goes over your head, it's okay. Because, like, I was afraid to mess with these grooves for, like, ever. I was afraid to mess with the wave channel forever. And it's, like, my favorite now. We have a pizza robot now. Yo, is that Comfy Matthew? Dude, it's been ages. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for wishing the puppy dog a happy birthday. It's in two days, but I'm not going to be streaming on that day. I should make him a little cake. A little peanut butter cake. Oh, what if I... <laughs> this would double as getting him to eat his breakfast on time. Because sometimes he can... He can be a little bit picky sometimes. He can be a little picky sometimes. What if I've always wanted to do this? What if I took his kibble... Measured it out so he gets the right amount, maybe a little less, to make up for some peanut butter. And what if I glued all his kibble pieces together into, like, a little cake? Like, glued them together with peanut butter? That would be kind of cute. I could stick a little carrot or something in the middle and pretend it's a candle. That would be funny. <laughs> You've been in XL for a while? It's all good. You know, life comes first, right? Life, co life has got to come first. I hope you've been doing well, though. But yeah, maybe I'll make him a little kibble cake. It would be so cute. Maybe I'll make him some ground beef or something. You don't want to go too nuts, you know? I don't want to have him too much, too much of that stuff. But maybe we'll just have to have a taco night on Sunday. And maybe we'll just have to leave some meat not seasoned. And maybe he gets <laughs> ground beef icing on the kibble cake. That sounds gross, but... I mean, honestly, I would eat I would eat ground beef with peanut butter on it. The kibble, not so much. 
I did try one of his cookies once, though. Because they smell really good. They're made of, like, apple and stuff. Actually, I think they're, like, apple salmon. Some weird... No, they're not apple. We're not apple. They're, like, salmon turkey or some... Or blueberry? Salmon blueberry, I think? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> ground beef? Yeah, he can have ground beef on the table. <laughs> Anyway, welcome, and we're, we're making a song called Robot Pizza Quest. It's gonna be on the Robot album, if it turns out nicely, which it will, because if it's not nice, then I'll work on it until it is. Give him a Baconator, hold the bacon. More like give him the bacon from a Baconator. That sounds like, uh... <laughs> That sounds like taking away the fun part. An aider. Oh boy. See, it sounds like it's on there. Kinda sounds like he's saying piece of pizza. You know, piece of pizza. If you use your imagination. That's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. <laughs> Wendy's and Tim's. I haven't had I ha I can't remember the last time I've actually had fast food. I actually cannot remember. I can't remember. <laughs> Ad break. Hey, clone. Get the money. Well, actually, we should be taking a break soon anyway. Are we trying to squish two ads in so that we can do an hour with hopefully no ads? Sometimes if I'm sneaky, it lets me do that. Sometimes it lets me do that. I can play an ad, and then there's like a cooldown before I can play another one. But back when I started with ads and scheduling them or whatever, I would just do like... Well, before the ad manager, I would just do a three-minute ad every hour. But then people would complain about nine ads. It's like, yeah, it's nine ads. It's like three minutes. But I'm just taking a break anyways. So go do something. Go to the bathroom and fill up your coffee or something. Boom, three minutes. And then no ads for an hour. You know. Triple whammy. <laughs> triple whammy. Thanks for the triple whammy glass. I'll do that stuff. Thanks for the ad break redeem. We should do that. Should do that. Mm. Didn't know I was implementing the PZOP sound with other sounds. Now I realize you have all other sounds with PZOP, it all comes together. You, you should know better, Bowie. I always put the sounds, always put in all the sounds. <laughs> but thank you. They just brought Wendy's back to the UK. What, did it, where did it go? It went away for a while, went on vacation. Wendy went on vacation. She came back. <laughs> I didn't even know that. NW and Harvey's. I know Freak really likes Harvey's. I've only had it, like, once. They're rare. They're rare here, I feel like. There's a McDonald's or a Tim's on every block. And then Harvey's, there's, like, a handful. They're just kind of scattered. It's like somebody rolled the dice. Not, not to see what the dice results would be. They just rolled the dice, and wherever the dice fell, that's where they put Harvey's. <laughs> Hey, Bluesy, thanks for lurking. Went away for like 20 years? What the heck? That's crazy. That's kind of wild. That's like Zeller's. We we had we had this department store called Zeller's when I was a kid, and they had like a little restaurant there. You could get like pancakes and stuff. So go there and like, you know, have breakfast, get your clothes and back to school stuff or whatever. And then, yeah. Also, I can't remember if it was Zeller's or Walmart or what store, but there was a store. This is insane when I think about it now. They would never do this now. But when I was a kid, 
there was a store that they would like they would I think they would let you exchange your kids' clothes if they wore out before they outgrew them. Or maybe it was only jeans or something. It was crazy. It was crazy. Anyway, but with Zellers, we had it and then it's been gone forever. Walmart kicked them out of town. I don't like Walmart. They suck. But anyway, they've been gone forever. And they just announced every now and then. Yo, buttons. Hey, thanks for the raid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we just had an ad break redeem, so we're gonna have to do that in a sec. But I have a rule that if we get a raid, we gotta at least a couple minutes. Thanks for following. Welcome in. We gotta have a couple minutes before an actual ad break. We were talking about Zellers. Hey, Taffle Taffle. Welcome in. How you doing? Nice to meet you. And thanks for following. We're talking about things that went away and came back, like Wendy's in the UK. That's pretty crazy. Tim's has gone downhill. Dude, Walnut Crunch. How could they get rid of Walnut Crunch? It was the best. It was the best. Popeye's chicken. I feel like, I don't know if Popeye's is new in Canada. I don't think so. I think I just never had it. But my husband likes it, so I've had it. And it's good. It's good. How was your stream? You doing... Did I shout you out? I didn't shout you out. How rude. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Zeller's back from the dead. Yeah! Your clothing exchange store, American Needle, lets you exchange any pair of jeans for $10 store credit. That's not bad. Hey, I remember that! Literally gave him the jeans off your butt. I remember that! I remember that, because you were at the ca- I can't remember the exact story. You were, like, at the cash or something when you saw a sign for it or something, and you're like, wait, could I give you the jeans, like, off my butt? And, like, walk out with new jeans, and they're like, yeah. You're like, I'll be right back. Something like that, right? Dang. Terrible craving for donuts now. Can I have them anymore? Are you in Scotland? <laughs> or Ireland? The can can I, can I, I don't even know how to say that. Hey, Foggy D, nice to see you. As a side note, I love reading. There was like a collection of like Scottish Twitter, like Scottish tweets. And I'm like, I can't say it, but I can like hear a Scottish person saying it. And it always makes me smile. Majora's Mask. You beat the Zora Temple. Husband did the boss for you. It's okay. Because at the end of the day... It was Sam. Wink. So it's fine. It counts. You'd be like, yes, I did that. It's got my name on it. <laughs> you were once asked in Ottawa if you have Quiznos in the UK. Don't. <laughs> but we have Tim Hortons now. Tim Hortons is pretty alright. I don't... I didn't like working there. But it's, it's alright. I always liked the smell of Tim Hortons. Or just anywhere that has coffee. Honestly. They gave you the discount, they went to the change room and put on the new pants, gave them the old ones. That's funny. That's also trusting. They wouldn't do that here. They would wait for you to change, I guess. I don't know what they would do. They'd probably make, if it was me, they'd make me pay full price and then go change. And then when I give them the pants, then they would give me the store credit. That seems so trusting. Anyway, let me shout you out. Guys, are you following Beta Buttons? Because if you're not... There's a really convenient little heart button there that you should go and click. She's been playing Majora's Mask. I know y'all like Zelda games. And I know y'all like fun times. Because you've been hanging out in my streams. So, you know. <laughs> so there you go. Make you stand pants. <laughs> yeah, you have to take them off and give it change right there. Okay, here. Here are my pants. Give me my ten bucks. Give me my pants. Okay, thank you. Ay, ay, ay. Crafting stream next week. Pikmin Perler Beads. Nice. I'm I'm excited about Pikmin 4. I don't know when I'm gonna play it. I don't know when, but I'm excited. I want I wanna play the little glow in the dark guys. I have a Pikmin wallpaper on my computer now. It actually just popped up. Just popped up. Also, clone, I feel like I should give you your points back for the ad break, because at this point it's just gonna be so long that it's not even like relevant anymore. I'm gonna take the break, but I'm gonna give you your points back, okay? Where the heck is my here it is? We're making a song called Robot Pizza Quest. It's uh, about robots singing about pizza. I got the robot to actually say pizza. Kind of. You want to hear? So the Game Boy actually has allophones in it, which are like pieces of words. So I put all these sounds together. And we got... Pretty close. Pizza, 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 pizza. It's pretty close. It's as good as it's gonna get. 
Yeah, if you hate fun, go see <laughs> Calm Down Kidder. I don't know about that. Dude, I, I haven't been able to get in one of your streams. I mean, I stream, I stream every day, so I'm always around. But not everybody streams every day. And I think I saw you live... Well, you stream while I'm streaming, which is why you can raid me. But obviously, I can't be watching your stream while I'm, while I'm streaming. But I keep wanting to pop into one of your streams. <laughs> You ordered glow in the dark pearly beads. Oh yes, I was hoping you'd be doing the glow one. That's so cool. I love glow in the dark beads. They're so cool. What did I say? I said I'm giving you your points back for the ad break. I'm still gonna take an ad break, but it's just that it's being pushed so far back now. It feels unfair to to like rob you of your points. A little Caesar song. <laughs> well, we also have a p pizza place called Pizza Pizza. <laughs> Here, you can keep talking about pizza. This is what we have so far. We've mostly been chatting and stuff. You're gonna make them all hold a crochet bulb orb? I'm trying to think of what a bulb orb is, but that's cool. Oh wait, is that the things you collect? I don't know, that's cool. Crochet stuff is awesome. You know I love crochet. <laughs> Oh, it is the guy. The guy with the red butt. It's the red butt guy. I thought it was a bad guy, but... Wait, so they're holding the bad guys? <gasps> that's why it, I thought you were... That's where my brain went, but then I thought you were talking about something else. Like, something that they would carry. You collect bodies. Oh. Oh. Pikmin is a lot darker than I thought. <laughs> they're carrying... Oh, like the... Wait, wait. Okay, wait. Let me read that again. Like, uh, make them all hold a crochet bulb. Okay, they don't each get their own tiny dead crochet bulb orb. They're gonna do like an ant thing and carry one big corpse. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Glow in the dark pizza. Hey, that sounds like a TMNT thing. By the way, that Leonardo is so cute. I found some window clings recently of Leonardo. I had some Michelangelo ones, they're all on the fridge. And I found some Leonardo ones, and they're all on my plastic bins in here. But I still need Donnie and Raph. Just as a side note. It's a good thing my husband doesn't mind living with a, with a child. Did you know that Amazon, at Christmas time, they send me, like, the, the toy wish list catalog because they think that a kid lives here? <laughs> I still have the stickers. from. They had little cute fox stickers, so I kept them. And I almost... I think I circled a couple things and then I was like, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> Glow in the dark pizza would be cool, though. There was, was it Domino's or somewhere made like a Batman pizza? But it was just pepperoni. Like, it was just pepperoni. The whole thing, just pepperoni. I think it was, it was like a cheese pepperoni pizza, but like the pepperoni was just like entire thing just covered in pepperoni. At least that was what the ad looked like. You get that it was like a normal pepperoni pizza with like a couple extra pepperonis. But they could do like a glow-in-the-dark radioactive TMNT pizza. That would be kind of awesome. Probably poisonous, but awesome. <laughs> Red guys with the white polka dots. I have... I have one of them on my wallpaper. He's got like the pointy yellow nose. He's got like a little two claw foot. He's got the funny eyes. And then his butt looks red with white polka dots. It kind of looks like if he stood on his nose, he'd kind of look like a mushroom. Like one of those really cute toadstool fairy tale mushrooms that you always get with like garden gnomes and stuff. My mom likes garden gnomes. <laughs> but, um,. His eyes look kind of like, um, do you guys remember when you were a kid? I'm, I think these were a global thing. I'm pretty sure everybody had these. But like, you know the eyeball things that you would have and you'd put them on your hand, like on your fingers? It was like two eyeballs with a little dip in the middle and you'd put your finger on one. You kind of hold and make, you know, you'd make like a hand puppet, with the googly eyes. Do you guys remember those? <laughs> I probably have some somewhere. I should get some. They probably still have them at like the dollar store or something. That'd be cool, though. 
Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Mm. That one, does Freak have it? I can't remember if he has it. I know he got Kakarot, which is Goku's alien name, I guess. I don't really know the lore because I only saw filler episodes when I was a kid. I would just see random episodes and I'm sure most of them were filler. But they're all named after vegetables. I didn't know that. I always thought Piccolo was funny. I called him the Pickle Man. I thought it was funny because he looked like a pickle because <laughs> he was green and his name was Piccolo. But I didn't know he was actually named after a pickle. And then Goku's Kakarot is named after Carrot. Vegeta just is vegetable. It's pretty funny. I didn't realize that when I was a kid. Pretty funny, though. Also, apparently, there was, like, a big kerfuffle about the name of Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Because it was supposed to be Dragon Ball Fighter Z, but the way they write it, it just looks like fighters with a Z instead of an S. So they're, so people would call it Dragon Ball Fighters, and they're like, no, it's Dragon Ball Fighter Z. It's like, what? Then why is it like that? Oh, wait, or was it the other way around? Oh, I don't remember. Does anybody know? Any, uh... FGC people in here in chat. I think it might have been the other way around. That it was supposed to be Fighter Z, but they made it look like fighters? Like the Z isn't big. Whatever. It was one or the other. Whatever it looks like, it's supposed to be the other one. Yeah. Went to the garden center yesterday, saw the grocery store was selling gnomes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Echo Blaster key rings. Oh, that sounds familiar. Echo Blaster. Vegeta kind of gives it away. I don't think there's anything more obvious than Piccolo. <laughs> In Naruto. Oh yeah, Broccoli. Brock. What's his name? Brock. O Is it actually Brock Oli? Is it that obvious? I remember there's a Broccoli guy. No, wait. His name is Brock. Lee. Yeah. <laughs> and not Brock Oli. His name is actually just Brock Lee. Yeah, that's it. I've seen him. That's kind of funny. You need to lurk. Have a good stream and a good weekend. Thanks, Blennens. Appreciate it. And, uh, you know, it's cool that you're having fun with games and stuff. Good job on beating the Zora dungeon boss. Wink, wink. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Is it actually Brock Oli? Oh, okay. So I was right. And I was right both times. Kind of cool. All right, you know what? I can't snooze this ad anymore. Lots of that going around today. Dang, you guys got me in a talking mood. So much to talk to, so much to talk about. This is like just chatting, featuring some music a little bit. You made that up? Oh, no, I'm gonna go with that. His middle name's probably Oscar. Probably Brock Oscar Lee. Yeah, let's go with that. Or Omar, or something, or Oliver. I'm very gullible when it comes to stuff that I don't nothing about. <laughs> The only Naruto character that I know much about, and I don't really know anything besides his name and kind of what he looks like, but it's been forever, is Orochimaru, because he's, like, all snaky and stuff, and I think I saw a little bit of that episode one time, and it was kind of cool. Yeah, Orochimaru. I like long names that are long for no reason. <clears throat> played a DBZ game all of twice. Yeah, I haven't really played any, but... My husband's into fighting games and they make a lot of fighting games, or a few of them. And he played... I don't remember. No, he played Kakarot. That one, that one looks pretty cool. That one looked pretty cool. Anyway. You guys might, uh... <laughs> you guys might have to start, like, whispering each other, because we're gonna take a break right away. Or just hold the, hold the thoughts. Hold those UK thoughts for a sec. Anyways. Here. We're going to take a little break. Super overdue, but that's okay. Let's take a little break. We'll listen to some chippy tunes. Guys, if you are not aware... Oh my gosh, how could you not be aware? Doggy Made Ants 4 comes out on Sunday. And you can pre-order it today. And it's 50% off, like all my music, because we got a sale. So I'll put a link to that uh, during the break. And it's the one with the the puppy dog actually doing vocals on it. He he works so hard, you guys. His he worked his old tail off. He did such a good job. So I'm excited for you to hear it. We'll listen to some of that. Yeah, go pre order. Listen to Zoom. He's smart. He's wise and stuff. And thanks for hanging out, Zoom. Have a great weekend. If I don't see you tomorrow, I mean, have a great weekend. It always sounds weird. Have a great weekend, whether I see you tomorrow or not. 
You don't have to not be around to have a good weekend. You don't need to be around to be wished a good weekend, you know? Anyways. But we'll be back in five to seven minutes. Enjoy the brand new puppy dog tunes. Have a good break, chat.
Hey, welcome back, chat. Welcome back. We had an extra song in there. Whoops, but that's okay. All right, all right. Time for more music time. We take a, take a break from the music to play some music on break. And then now we, not the break. We take a break from break to make music. We take a break to make more music. You like that track during the break? Which one? That was like four songs. I started playing an extra one by accident. One thing though is like, these songs are fairly, fairly short. Oh, that very last one is called Goodest Boy. I played that one earlier on stream when I had that uh, save file open. Goodest Boy. I think that's my favorite one on the album. I like the pops and stuff. I, I think I did a pretty good job on the pops. If I do say so myself. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, now we got pizza. Hmm. Is that better doubling up on the Zeds? I think you can hear it a bit better. I think it's a little better. I think it's a little better. Yeah, I think that works. Oh, I just heard a scuffle and was like, what's going on? The dog like ran and got a toy and you just ran in here. This is a goose. <laughs> You're Daft Punk. There's other bands that do stuff like this, right? It's funny because whenever I, I use the, the robot voicing, it's always, it's always Daft Punk that gets brought up. I think that there's other bands that do that, right? I, I can't think of any right now, but except for Kraftwerk. I guess Kraftwerk does stuff like that. Beastie Boys? <laughs> The only song I want to say twerp because that, that's what, but T W R P man that's so much longer than saying twerp. The only one I know by them is uh, the hit. Maybe I should listen to more stuff. Wendy Carlos. I feel like I've heard the name. That's about it. <laughs> boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. Probably could. Now I'm thinking of like human after all and stuff. Human, human, human. I could probably get it too. Human. <laughs> but I want to do my own thing. I'm not Daft Punk. I'm Kemi. E F G A. And then. Oh, it didn't. Okay. And then B. Man, this dog is so hyper. He's so busy right now. Running around getting all the toys. What are we not using? C and F sharp. Oh. Oh, that could work. And then, so here... I'm gonna make... a table so that it's kind of loud the first time it plays. And then quiet after that. Oops. Hey. 
Yeah. Hey, Anonymous. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Comfy Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> Yo, Anonymous. Thanks for gifting that sub. I very much appreciate it. I'm sure Comfy Matthew does too. <laughs> Why? Did, it's capital, Brian. It's capital. He doesn't know how to do it. He doesn't know how to do it. Tron and Clockwork Orange. I, I haven't seen either of those, man. I gotta. Phantom Racer, Black Swan, and Starlight Brigade. I should try to remember that. Just try to remember that. Hey, since you have a sub, you should put that in the music channel in the Discord. <laughs> I think you've been in the Discord before, right? I'm not sure if you're in there. Sucked into a Chuck E. Cheese arcade cabinet. Must fight for your freedom. Oh, that's what it kind of sounds like. This part does sound video gamey. I mean, more than, you know. Oh, these are the same. They shouldn't be the same. Uh, let's change this one. Yeah, I don't know any of those. Wait. Daphne Orum. I don't know. They, they all seem like vaguely familiar. Like, they've probably been mentioned to me before. In the Discord for many a year. Isn't that wild that you can say that? Like, that I've been streaming for many a year? That's wild. I wasn't sure, because, I, I mean, like, people lurk and that's fine. But I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I think, and sometimes people leave or come back or whatever, so that's cool. Oh wait, we have a hi-hat already, and it's instrument... Wait, 10? Oh. Well, wait a second, but if I made a hi-hat... Oh, it was for that. Okay, gotcha. Why is it so... That's not- oh wait, no, 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 it's not that one, though, it's the other one that I made before. This one. There we go. The first chip tuner, basically. That might be why, because I'm not- I don't hear much about, like, the first of things, you know? Wait, why is this not- did I not- I'm really confused. What the heck? Okay, no, that's the noise thing. What did I... Huh? Huh? Why did- what? I- this is for the- no, this is for the thing- oh, it, it looks like a- okay, I, I messed myself up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand now what past Kimmy has done. So let's take this, not here, uh, here, put it here, can I paste, hmm. copy, paste, and then we'll put a table on here, the 50s, 60s, yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. The only person kind of like that, who's actually like inventing stuff that I know of, is Look Mom No Computer. That's like the only one I've really... And I don't really follow... Like, I follow him on like Twitter. The platform formerly known as Twitter and still honestly known as Twitter. So wait a second for doing... Ah. So we want... Actually, we should just let's just do this instead. I don't want to think. I don't want to think. I'll let the I'll let the Game Boy think for me. There we go. Nice. 
the platform you hardly use. Man, I kind of built my first audience on Twitter, so kind of have a little soft spot for it. It's kind of sad to to see the shenanigans. For everything he built, I'll have to look into that. He's a silly sausage. <laughs> Way past your bedtime, I don't know. Work then video game cabaret and drag tomorrow. Hey, that sounds cool. Slay station. Hey, I like it. Hey, have fun. That sounds amazing. I am nowhere near there. It's only 5.30 for me. I'm gonna have supper after this. <laughs> but, you know, thanks for hanging out. It was nice to meet you and stuff. Hope you have a super great evening and a super great weekend, too. I'll be streaming tomorrow morning my time in like 17 hours ish 10 a.m central something like that that might work out better for some of you uk folks i don't want you to lose sleep because of me sleep is so important but yeah thanks for hanging out have a super great weekend everything So the thing is, for something like this, it'll sound like he's saying pizza if you already know that he's supposed to be saying pizza. If you just heard this on, like, the the radio, like, the one radio that plays my stuff, <laughs> you'd be like, huh? What? If you know that it's pizza, then you know. Otherwise, you're like, deetsom? Deetsaw? I don't know what deetsaw is. Sleep is temporary, music is forever. I mean, you're not wrong, but you should still get enough sleep. <laughs> you can always, uh, you can always dream about music. That's what I do. That way music is forever. I gotta see that Furby thing, because I haven't seen that. I saw the big giant, what the heck, did the, didn't he make like a wall of Game Boys or something? I think that's what I saw. And I started following him, and I've seen, like, tweets and stuff. Whatever the- what the heck are tweets called now? Who knows? Eeks? <laughs> Let's call him Eeks. Let's go with that. <clears throat> coming along very nicely. Thank you, thank you. It's coming along a little slowly, but that's okay. I like it. Boop, 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 boop. That was just my knuckles, don't worry about it. It's fine. The drone boy. Yeah, that might have been the one. It's been, like, years. Are they called X's? Imagine looking up, like, your favorite content creator and then putting, like, their name and then, like, X profile. Like, you really think you're gonna find Twitter stuff? Or are you gonna find some, you know, find that they make some kind of content that you weren't ready to see? <laughs> you know? <sighs> the whole X rebrand is really iffy, if you ask me. It seems like an SEO nightmare, for one thing. SEO nightmare. It's so, it's so funny. It's so funny to laugh at. It's kind of funny. So I think we need this part again, except with an actual lead. And also these should be twice as long. So it'll be an eight bar thing. Whoops. Why did I put a C there? What's C gonna be? I don't, okay, I don't know what C was. Maybe it was the last one I was dealing with. Okay. I think he's just deliberately trolling. It's so hard to, to say. Part of me thinks he's trolling. Part of me thinks he's just, like, his... It's weird. Because, like, he's a smart guy. Right? Maybe he's just not with it. I don't know. But you, maybe he's a mad genius. And then and maybe he's just ahead of his time. And maybe we just can't understand the brilliance at this point. 
but what is the point? You know what I always thought? People who are, like, brilliant geniuses, like, they're so freaking smart that they're way ahead of their time and no one understands them and they're not appreciated until long after they're dead. Aren't they smart enough to know that they're, like, ahead of the curve and, like, not, you know, to, like, adapt? If, if you're smart enough to be, like, you know, 50 years ahead of the game, do you think you could be smart enough to devise a way to bring people up to speed? And help them see things the way you do. Like, that's one thing I always thought was kind of weird. Kind of weird, right? Grinder to electric boogaloo. Uh, you know what? It sounds like people looking for, like, a risque kind of dating app would be disappointed. They'd be like, oh, X. Blaze your glory. Oh. Or maybe they think it's about, like, drugs or something. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hook up with someone. We're going to blaze our glory. And, and you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then being disappointed when they realize, oh, it's just Twitter. But it messes me up. On my phone, I didn't update it yet, so it's still Twitter. But then on my computer, I go there, and I'm like, where the heck is Twitter? And there's a stupid little black square, and I'm like, oh, it's a little X one. It's supposed to be a blue bird. And it kind of, as a designer, it kind of hurts. Because, like, they put so much... Like, if you saw, there was a tweet circulating the other day about, like the Twitter logo and it was like three people who designed it and it was like really well done you know and it was all balanced and pretty and simple and it was readable and everything and this X just looks like ugh, just looks bad just looks bad it's not nice so I don't know it's just so weird but the main thing that's bugging me about Twitter right now and YouTube they're both doing this and I don't understand why is like every time I open either website, it goes back to uh, like daytime mode. I keep switching them to nighttime mode or dark mode. And every time it's like pew, flash bomb. Like what the heck, dude? Why? Why is it like this? I keep changing. There was one week I changed it every single day, like both of them. And then I just gave up and I just like put on sunglasses. <laughs> oh, I got to check my Twitter feed. All right. Where my where my Twitter shades? Maybe I need some, like, cringe-blocking shades anyways. Maybe it's just a, a hint. It's just a hint. I don't know. SoundCloud self-destruction tactics. I don't really... I haven't really followed SoundCloud. I have one, but I never liked it. I just put a few things on there and linked to my band camp. I was like, hey, if you want to hear actually all my music instead of, like, three songs, you should go there instead. And <laughs> just, like, cast that net, you know? That's what it sounds like, Matthew. Blaze, blaze your glory. Throws you on the phone every time. Yeah, it's weird. They want premium sales. The thing is, calling it X doesn't sound very good for, like, collaborations. Working with any other company. Like, it sounds weird. It just sounds weird. He wants to take on eBay. For real, we need an actual Amazon competitor. I don't like... Wait, I can't say anything. I can't say anything bad about Amazon chat. Well, you know what they say, if you can't say anything nice. So we're not talking about Amazon today. Anyway, SoundCloud was a lovely community. I think back then, I think I, I don't know if I even had one. I, I think I, I don't know. It seemed good, you know, and then I started using it when I started making music and then it was not good. So I think I never really, you know. Hey there, Echo. How you doing? Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> BTS. They're gonna collab with BTS. That's the first thing you thought of. It's kind of funny. But, I mean, maybe... I saw BTS backpacks at Staples yesterday. Dude, I went to Staples, and I got a backpack for $7. That's seven Canadian dollars. That's, like, nothing. That's probably, like, three pounds for you guys in the UK. Three, three fifty for whatever. And, but they also had $85 backpacks. They had $7 backpacks. They had $85. I'm like, who's paying $85 for a backpack? Those were in like the, the college snooty section, I think. No, no, no. The university. Yeah. College kids can't afford that. You go to university. Mm. That's for the Harvard kids, because they're definitely shopping at Staples for their back-to-school needs. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. For real, those school supplies are so expensive. 
If you have kids these days, man, you gotta... You gotta be careful, man. I bought a pack of, like, four scribblers for, like, 72 cents. For four scribblers. But then in the next aisle, there were the exact same... Well, they were, like, a different brand. But they're, like, 72-page little stapled scribblers for, like, $1.49 each. Each? A buck fifty? It's not even spiral bound? Come on. And the backpacks? Like, the main... Like, I got the cheap little back... Like, I wanted a backpack to throw my sketchbook in when I go visit my parents, because I... Also, it's purple and it has butterflies. Okay, seven-year-old me would have freaked out over it. I really liked it. But anyway, uh, so I bought this cute little backpack. But the ba the main backpacks, like the, the ones that you're supposed to buy, are like $35. Dude, who's spending $35? And they've got like dinosaurs and spaceships and stuff. I mean, I had trouble picking one out. They had another a unicorn one. They had like some cool ones. They had one that was all like underwater critters. It was like sharks and sea turtles and stuff. I kind of wanted it, but it, it was, like, expensive, and it came with, like, a pencil case and a lunchbox. I'm like, I don't need a lunchbox or anything. Although I do have a TMNT lunchbox that I put all my watercolor stuff in, so that's pretty sweet. Didn't spend 20 bucks on it, though. But, man, it's so crazy. It's so expensive. And, yeah, it was a 90s day sale, which is such a... That's such a good thing. The 90s uh, throwback pricing. I was like, you're lying. And they're like, Crayola crayons, 99 cents. I'm like, you know that? That might be pretty close. I don't remember. I wasn't buying stuff when I was a kid. My parents were buying stuff for me. But that sounds about right. I think my mom said they were 49 cents. 49 cent crayons. I want to go back in time and just buy a bunch of crayons. I don't even use crayons. But I like them. Maybe I should start a crayon sketchbook. Hmm. It just sounds kind of messy, you know? Kind of messy. I don't use pencil anymore either because it's so messy. But I love pencil, but I hate how messy it is. Mm. Couldn't find a Jansport backpack Twilight style when you were there. Those are the ones. Everyone wants Jansport. I got one that looks just like it. It's got, like, the same pouch design and stuff. And that thing was... I don't know. I buy cheap backpacks. I like cheap backpacks. The uniforms. Oh, I never had to wear a uniform at school. But, like, stuff is expensive. They have pencil cases for, like, $15, $20. Like, I was at the dollar store the other day, and I was like, you want five bucks for this pencil case? Oof, that's expensive. And I was like, oh, dang, go to Staples. So they'll have, like, the really cheap stuff, like, you know? Like, so I got a bunch of pens. Oh, I got, like, five boxes of pens. <laughs> There's a picture of my haul in the Discord for for you guys who are in the Discord. But I got like a box of like a dozen Bic round stick pens. Love those. For like a dollar forty nine. So that's like what twelve cents a pen or ish, thirteen cents a pen, something like that. That's so cheap. But then they have other pens that aren't on sale, and they're like twelve dollars for four of them or something. So it's weird. Like some of the stuff is actually really cheap. But then the other stuff that they try to get you to buy, you know, the impulse stuff, that's where you spend a lot of money. I spent $10 on a clipboard, but it's because it's the only kind of clipboard that I like. It's so hard to find them. It's the only place I've seen them. I couldn't find them anywhere online. Staples was the only place. So I shelled out $10 for a clipboard. But they also had like a crazy aluminum like storage, like a whole heckin' locker of a clipboard for like 65 bucks. I'm like, who's getting that? What kind of upper management, you know, pen protector kind of person, pocket protector. Yeah, what kind of person is that? It's kind of funny. Yo, Kuga! Did I hear right? Doggy birthday weekend. Yes. Happy Bark Day, Henry. Happy Bark Day. Hey, Henry, happy Bark Day from Kuga. Hey, thanks for the nine months and thanks for the birthday wishes for the puppy dog. The puppy dog. And, yeah, I already said thanks for the nine months. <laughs> that's a special one that's a special sub badge uh this is weird but i was thinking about you the other day <laughs> why is it as soon like i feel like i've been saying that so much lately not to be weird but i was thinking about you the other day like a name popped in my head when i was walking the dog and it was like kuga and i was like yeah it's been a minute since i've seen that person you know it's weird and then the next day it's happened like three times this year so far or maybe four where I, like, thought, you know, I was like, oh, I haven't seen this person in a second. And then the next day, boom, there they are in stream. Like, yo, hey. Yeah, so anyways, I hope you're doing well. We're talking about office supplies and stuff. You did hear right that it's the puppy dog birthday. 
on Sunday. So we've got the sale going all weekend. Brand new Doggy Made Ants 4 is up for pre-order and that's coming out Sunday and it's just very exciting. Henry did some really, really good work. Been doing some good work. Uniforms made you want to become a nun. You know, nuns have to... Nuns have to wear uniforms, too. Hey, also, how come Automod lets you say sucked butt? Usually it doesn't like that. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe it just got... It's like, oh, everyone's always talking about butts and sucking things, but not in the way that I'm supposed to be modding. I give up. Automod's like, forget it. I can never get things right. <laughs> been watching the vods on youtube hey i appreciate that that's cool that's another thing i wonder about is like does anyone really watch these some some idiot commented okay so i have my two youtubes right i got the main one that i'm actually trying you know putting effort in I'm gonna have to put some more videos on there soon but i've got we just passed 500 subs yay we passed the 500 sub mark that's that's big for me that's real big I wasn't super trying to build it, but they announced a little while ago that it was going to be easier to get monetized on YouTube. And I was like, hey, maybe that's a, a nice little goal to shoot for. Because when I figured it wasn't going to happen, I was like, I'll just put stuff on there. It'll be fun. People will find my Twitch. But it's kind of getting to the point where, like, people seem to like my YouTube. So that's cool. That's cool. But then, um, but then I have my VODs channel, which it's largely just like an archive. It's mainly just an archive, just to keep the old VODs. So if they're not on Twitch anymore, although I highlight them all so they should be on Twitch the whole time. Yo, Club, hope you're doing well. But it's it's kind of funny. Um, but then I've got my VOD channel, which I don't really promote it. It's just like the bot has like a timer and it's like, hey, if you prefer to watch VODs on YouTube, you know, you can do that. Or whatever. I know it, the organization kind of sucks because I don't have like playlists or anything, so I just hope that the algorithm shows you things in order <laughs> i haven't what do i even i don't even know what it shows i don't know if it even has end cards i just send them straight from twitch but it's cool that you've been watching the vods on there and uh yeah but it's got like 60 something subs like i'm really not pushing it but i got a comment on there the other day that was like if you got rid of the boring long tedious intro then maybe people would sub and i was like hmm noted and filed which is what the departments that i used to work with at the office would say when they were ignoring feedback so i felt that was relevant <laughs> i don't edit my vods i hope you i'm sure you know by now like it would be cool if it had like a little skip intro button like netflix but i usually do like seven to ten minute intros and sometimes i you know sing along or something the other day i was <laughs> I can't remember what chat referred to it as, but I was kind of jamming out. I wasn't muted. I was just kind of jamming out, singing along with the bass. Because one of the songs has this bass that I really like. Anyway, I mean, I made it, so I like it. But yeah. Excited for the album and sure do love Office Supplies. Kindred Spirits, I tell ya. I, I got so much. I got so much stuff at Staples. I got so many pens. They had Stabler. Uh... The triplus little, the triangle, the weird triangle pens, they're pretty cool. And I got Pentel RSVP. I've been wanting to try those for a while. And they came in purple and green and all kinds of colors. I'm really excited about those. <laughs> Can't wait to draw some cylinders with those. <laughs> That's the other thing is I'm, I'm back like doing like an online art school thing. So I'm drawing a lot of cylinders and gesture drawings and stuff these days. So I'm super excited about pens. And I just started a 288-page giant sketchbook, and I'm really excited to fill it up with all my exercises and studies and things. I'm just kind of stoked for it, you know? Also, I like your uh, comment, Matthew, about sucking butt professionally instead of amateur butt suckage. That, that's that got to be the, the differentiating aspect, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, the dog... <laughs> silly i just i don't know if that came through he was like Argh. i'm like what the heck was that but sometimes he has a toy in his mouth but he needs to inhale and because his mouth is wide open and like all the air rushes past the toy it sounds kind of weird and echoey and he has two toys that are almost identical and he had one that he brought in earlier but he just walked in with the other one he's like no i want this one 
They're almost exactly the same. You're such a funny puppy. Stretch is a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Ugh. I'm gonna grab a sip of water too. Anyway, what's your guys' favorite kind of art supply? Not art supplies, office supplies or art supplies for that matter. They have an art aisle at Staples. It's kind of a joke. Like the prices and stuff. It's kind of a joke. Because <laughs> they just have like a little bit of it. They're like, we're actually for office supplies. But we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna charge art supply prices. I don't know. Posca pens. Oh, those are the best. Especially, I like to use the white ones for highlights and stuff. I feel like, I feel like every single response that you guys say to what's your favorite art supply or office supply, I could go on a tangent. <laughs> but... I just started a new toned tan. You know they have the sketchbooks that are like tan color paper and like gray paper? Those are so good for putting highlights on. And I I could never get them to look right. Like there's something about just the using the mid-tone from the paper. It never worked with me. But recently I've been making some stuff that looks pretty baller if I do say so myself. So Posca pens are awesome. Notepads are awesome too. What kind of notepads? You getting Etsy like like hand bound ones that people like home like not homemade sounds so scuffed like hand handcrafted notepads. Do you know Sea Lemon on YouTube? I feel like I feel like you you're sub to Sea Lemon on YouTube, and if not, you'd probably like her videos. She's very um, I'm not sure what the word is. Her videos are really cute. She does a lot of book binding and stuff. I didn't mean to say cute. I meant to say like clean, clean and just. You know, like the, you know, like the crafters who make really nice YouTube videos where everything is bright and clean and tidy and nice, but her voice is really cute too. And she's just kind of nice to listen to. So yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking that she's cute, but I didn't mean to say it. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> story tracking journal. Wait, what's a story tracking journal? Is that different than just lines on a piece of paper? Is there something special printed on it? Storage boxes that look like books. That's a really good good idea, too. We'll do a follow love binding. Yeah, she goes over all the stitches and stuff. She goes over, like, organization things. She's like, my my dollar store organization, whatever. It's sea, sea lemon, like, how it sounds. Like, ocean citrus fruit. <laughs> I think her name is Jennifer. Anyway. That sounds really... I don't know. But she, I like watching her videos. They're just fun to watch. And I've used a couple of her techniques. I can't remember why, but I'll look her up every once in a while. Whenever I think of anything related to like notebooks, like handmade notebooks or just books, I'll usually just search her channel instead of just searching YouTube because I know she probably has stuff. I recently found a video from her about like adding an elastic closure to a book because I got some of the cheap moleskins that don't have the elastic thing. Which I thought was illegal. I thought Moleskine had to have that, but they didn't because they were affordable. They weren't like $25 each, so that's probably why. But I was like, man, I should put my own elastic thing on here. What would be a graceful way of doing it instead of just, you know, duct tape? Duct tape and chill. <laughs> so I might do that. I might do that with one of my... I mean, I will do that. I got the elastic from my mumsy. She had some. But yeah, you'll you'll probably like her channel. Story checking journals are set out in pre-sorting, track and plan character and world story development and growth. Well, that sounds like an Etsy product too, honestly. Or like a template that you buy from a writer or something. Oh, I heard of one because I was researching writing last year for my Patreon stories and stuff. I was like, am I doing this right? <laughs> like I'm writing, but am I writing? Am I writing rightly? And, uh... I found something about a, was it called a story Bible or something or a writing or a world Bible? Was that a world building? It was basically like everything about the world, like how the weather works and the, the taxes, like uh, what kind of government is there? What's the fashion like? <clears throat> Excuse me. All that kind of stuff. All these things that you wouldn't really think about necessarily, but they'll come up when you're describing a character. If they're dressed to the nines, what does that mean? What are they wearing? Are they wearing, are they wearing CC? You know, are they wearing whatever potato sack fashion? Maybe I don't know, but that's cool. Some home design, sometimes handmade notepads. 
Have I heard of Acorn and Crow? No, I haven't. But it sounds like we're doing a follow party. Acorn and Crow on Etsy? Let me just look it up. Acorn and Crow. I really like names that are something and something else. <laughs> of course, I got a lot of pictures of, like, acorns and crows, which is cute. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, that's cool. Lots of, like, uh... <laughs> I see a sticker. This is Roll for Mental Health 1. And it's kind of... That's kind of relatable. <laughs> uh, that looks right up my alley, that kind of stuff. That's cool. I like that. Thanks for sharing. We're all sharing stuff. Pretty cool. <clears throat> That's so, that's so detailed, Matthew. Wait, should I call you Matt? Do people call you Matt for short? Is that a thing they do in the UK? Because I almost called you Matt and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I should call you Matt. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty crazy. Like, that that's kind of, I think that's kind of like what I, uh, what I was thinking of with the like world building, um, Bible. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Yeah, I had a feeling you wouldn't like it. <laughs> no Matt, no Matt. I think I'm just used to like shortening people's names because I don't want to call I don't want to be like, "Hey, welcome to the stream. Hamburgers for life 47." Like, you know. <laughs> be like, "What's up, Ham?" I'm just kidding. <laughs> call him Ham for short. You have a notebook with that on it. It's funny. I think Mental health is a thing that I didn't really think about a lot. By the way, I'm just doing this on mute, so there is no, there is no like preview. We'll just see what it sounds like. We'll just see what it sounds like when we're done here. I'm just gonna pop in some stuff that hopefully will sound good, and we'll see if it does. Maybe it won't, but that's okay. Mats are something people step on. <laughs> I mean, Matt was my favorite from Digimon, so. I always liked- I always liked the name Matt. Maybe that's when my brain was like subconsciously like... I'm gonna call you Matt. <laughs> I don't wanna call you Matt either. Digimon. Digital monsters. Digimon are the champions. I kinda miss that show. I kinda wanna watch the, the first movie again. Cause I didn't really know what was going on. Cause I, I guess I was actually pretty young when I watched Digimon. Hmm. Weird. It's kind of weird to think about being really young. You guys think about stuff that you did when you were really young or whatever? I mean, you guys are still young. Young and gorgeous. But you know, when you're like a little kid. That's like different. So this is bag. What if we just move these all down so that we end up on the E? This is not allowed. We'll just put, we'll just do that. All right, let's, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, let's live on the edge a little. We'll just play all four parts and see what it sounds like. Hopefully, hopefully is good. Well, let's see. <laughs> Chez, it just mirrors that kind of bang. Kind of banging. This is too freaking loud. I've been thinking about it and I haven't changed it. It's too freaking loud. Okay, that's better. Oh. Tempted to rain by your own grimoire. Pizza, 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 pizza. What if I made it get louder instead of quieter? What? Yeah! But then just to make sure it doesn't accidentally get super loud if I mess something up, we'll just put a little kill switch on there. Okay, 
Okay, this needs to be longer. Do, 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 do. Adventure time energy. That's the thing I haven't thought about in a long time. Wow. What the heck was I even watching Adventure Time on? Because I didn't have TV. I don't know if it was ever actually on TV. Was that after? No, wait, there is still, like, cable. People still do cable stuff, right? That's still a thing. What the heck? This is a nothing instrument. It's a big nothing burger. Did I make something out of it? Hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember where I watched Adventure Time. I didn't watch much of it, but I used to work at, like, um... Like a gift shop type place. Like one of those punky kind of- like a Hot Topic sort of place. And boy did they like Adventure Time there. And Walking Dead. I feel like saying those two names, like, it's like a time capsule. You can imagine the like, 2010s, right? You can- can you feel the 2010s? I think it was around then, right? Around that little- those few years. The Walking Dead was huge. Adventure Time was huge. I think the regular show was just starting. Like, I had just kind of heard of it. Man, there's all these, like, pockets of time. The 90s was a good pocket of time. Going to play, like... I want to see if there's an arcade in town still. I want to go play an arcade. Not, like, a, where you can play Street Fighter or whatever. Or those shooty games that I was always too young to play when I went there with my parents. But, like... The ones with the, like, basketball thing, or, um, what's that game called again where you roll the little ball and there's rings? I always forget what that's called. Ski-ball? Ski-ball, I think. Which is weird, because it has nothing to do with skiing. It's also not spelled that way. Anyway, and they'd have, like, the, the stupid one with, like, the color, color thingies. Uh, what's it called? Like the ring, right? The light goes in the circle and you have to right when it stops in between the pegs, but it never will because it's rigged. I saw a Mark Rober video about it. It's heckin' rigged. But yeah, those things. You always confuse foosball and ski ball. Foosball is the table soccer, right? Why don't they just call it table soccer? Or table table football or whatever. Table kick kick. Kickball is another thing, right? Kickball. Isn't kickball like baseball? But you kick the ball. But then in school we played soccer, baseball. I don't know. There's too many. Ah, what is everything? You're writing for a video game now, which is pretty sweet. Hey, that is pretty sweet. Congrats. Hopefully you're not in a, one of those companies that are wanting to strike the Writers Guild and stuff. I don't know how many writers that affects. Hopefully you're getting paid fairly. Anyway, that's really awesome, though. Writing for a game. Dang. Like, a real existing game, too. Not like me writing for my imaginary in-my-head game. <laughs> Cartoon Network shut down is merging with Warner Brothers. Oh, interesting. Hmm. When you heard the show Adventure Time, you thought it wasn't lasting a year. Ugh. When I was in college... There was, like, a couple kids who were, like, obsessed with it. And I say kids because they were straight out of high school. But more than other people who were straight out of high school. Like, I took I took some time off between high school and college, and I'm glad I did because I got some time to experience the world without an art education or without, you know, knowing about things that actually interested me. So just working at, like, crappy jobs and stuff. And I was like, hey, I don't want to do this. I want to learn some stuff that'll let me do more fun things to make a living so thank goodness i did that but there were a couple kids in my class who came straight out of high school and they were so annoying and they were just memes all day and references to stuff that i didn't understand they were making me feel old and i wasn't even that old <laughs> but they they were like i could never hear the teacher because they were always talking it was really annoying it was like they were still in high school they didn't you know what i mean oh people like that they drove me nuts. And they were obsessed with Adventure Time. They were obsessed with it. It was really annoying. So I I think I don't really like Adventure Time because I associate it with them. <laughs> Kickball, you kick the ball. It is like baseball, right? Same kind of rules. Except you're allowed to catch it and throw it around. It's not like soccer where you can't use your hands. Kind of weird. 
You don't get paid, so no psych violations. Hey, you can't be paid too little if you don't get paid at all. <laughs> you interning or something? I don't know. Well, I hope it, I hope it leads to great things. I hope it leads to great things. You went straight out of high school. Some of your college classmates were mentally still in high school and too much partying the night before. Oh, yeah, there's that, too. I don't think... I don't know. I don't know if it's just what I went to school for. Because everyone was nerds. They were all nerds. Because it was literally, like, the nerd degree. They could have called it that. The geek degree. We were all just dorks. <laughs> like, on lunchtime, at lunch, everyone would just be drawing, pretty much. They'd just be, like... Sitting there with their coffee, hipster glasses, just drawing. That's basically all we did when we weren't in class. And when we were in class, too. <laughs> it was kind of good times, though, I guess. It was kind of cool. So I'm really happy to be, quote, in school again. It feels good to be a student. It feels good learning stuff, studying stuff. I didn't, I didn't, like, I never th really think about age that much, but I'm thinking about it more and it's kind of bothering me. Like... You know, I don't really feel like I'm old, but sometimes I feel old. Like when, when kids are, oh God, when they're, if, when I was on the bus with kids and they'd be like getting off of school, talking about whatever, I'd be like, what on earth are you talking about? I'm starting to feel like my parents must've felt when I would come home from school and talk about all these crazy things that like, what even is that? gonna be a rhythm game and it's gonna be a demo kickstarter if good then full game and no more unpaid labor oh i see okay doing doing your own thing nice well best of luck godspeed and stuff i hope it goes great that's really exciting and you better let me know when you've got your kickstarter i'll give it a boost if it's good you know if it's good Maybe even if it's not good, I'll be like, look at this crappy game my friend is working on. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. But, you know, have fun and learn a lot. That's the main thing, right? And then no matter what happens, it's fine. Whether it's like, I mean, if you make something and it sucks, it's something that you made and it's experience that you gained and it's knowledge and stuff that you learned and skills that you developed, and then the next thing that you make will suck less, and hopefully not even at all. It might not even suck at all. And if you come across, if you, if you like, finish it and it is good, well, then you're, then you're golden, right? Then you just gotta get the word out and get other people to realize that it's good. And then you're real good, you know? So best of luck with that and stuff. That sounds cool. Love rhythm games. I still have to play Friday Night Funkin'. I feel like I totally missed the boat on that one. Like, I could play it. No one cares about that game anymore. <laughs> no one cares anymore. Uh, but it looks cool. It'd be neat. Aging is a state of mind. I agree. Aging and age are both a state of mind. Like, I don't feel like I'm my age. Like I said, we've got Michelangelo's all over the fridge, and my room is full of Pokemon cards, and Disney Princess pencil case that I just bought, and Pokemon there's nothing in here that actually looks like it's an adult's room, I just realized. I have... Wait, I gotta get... I gotta, quote, show you this. I'm not... I can't show you because no camera. But I will show you the sound. Because I bought a while ago... I can't remember why. I think I needed, like, $65 for free shipping or something. I was buying something from the Nintendo store. And they had a little light. <laughs> it's the Invincibility Star. What's his name? The, the little star has a name. It's like the superstar or something, right? It's like the little invincibility star. And it plays the song when you turn it on. And I knew that when I bought it. And I was hoping it wouldn't just constantly... Like the whole time it's on, I'm like, that'd be really annoying and I'll never turn it on. But it just plays it a little bit when you turn it on and then it abruptly stops. That's it. That's all you get. And the light is on. It's really cute. Eh, turn it off. <laughs> it's super cute. It just plays that, you know? That should be a that should be a safe song to play on stream because it's in games. But it's weird. It's just like... And it just stops. It doesn't fade away. It doesn't, like, nothing. It's just... It's kind of funny. You miss the hex bugs? 
My hex bugs are right behind me. I, <laughs> the, you're, you're just making me look worse. One has googly eyes on him. Did I share that? I can't remember. One of them has googly eyes glued on. It took me like three tries to find a glue that would... <laughs> <laughs> it took me I was trying all these different kinds of glue that would hold the googly eyes while the hex bug was hex bugging you know how they vibrate like crazy they and then the eyes would like go flying off <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I still haven't found like the ideal glue like they're still kind of barely on there I gotta use a glue gun or super glue or gorilla glue or something whatever that one lady used on her hair I think I need that but yeah, <laughs> the googly eyes. Pretty funny. Spend your mind Nintendo points. Dude, I am broke with Nintendo points. I just spent like 2500 a couple weeks ago. I got the 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 Fire Emblem Engage buttons cuz they're back in uh they're back in stock. I've been waiting for those. I got a Pikmin kitchen towel. I got Pikmin little shoe charms, shoelace charms. I got what else did I got? I don't remember what else I got. I got pretty much everything that I didn't have. Because I'm cheap, and if I'm spending shipping, I'm going to buy as much... Well, you know, get as much stuff as I can. But the best thing I got recently... The best thing I got recently was for Tears of the Kingdom. Here's a PSA. Check your My Nintendo thing. Your My Nintendo rewards. Because they haven't run out in Canada. And I think the US has the same store, maybe? Or same stuff? UK might be different, because we don't have a Kirby mouse pad. What the heck? Hey, I wonder if there's a way I can order from the UK one. That sounds baller. You guys get different stuff. I forgot that you might get different stuff. And now I'm just gonna have FOMO every time. Every time. I knew that they would be having something for Zelda, so I set it to my browser homepage, so I look at it every single day. Every single day. But the best thing I've gotten on there in a while is a glow-in-the-dark Tears of the Kingdom keychain. You know the, the shrine unlocky thing that you have to- that Link touches with his hand? It's that, and it glows in the dark, and it's so cool. And the other day I was in here working late, as- as I often do, and it was just sitting there glowing in the corner. I was like, man, that looks so sick. I bought- I got that when I bought the amiibo. And, uh, and then they brought back the Fire Emblem stuff. They had a bunch of Pikmin. I was like, okay, fine, I just ordered stuff, but I'll order stuff again. We have Toys R Us, don't be greedy. You know, Toys R Us, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, Toys R Us kind of sucks. It's just expensive. It's just expensive for no reason. Everything's expensive there. Every time I go there, like, hey, I want to get, like, a Nerf gun or a new Hot Wheels car. Like, it's just, it's, like, the most expensive place to get anything that they have. But the thing is, because it's Toys R Us, there's a lot of things that, they, that you can, like, only get there. But I remember when I was a kid, I got a Bionicle there and they were giving out comics. So I got like a special comic with like the gold Toa. What the heck was his name? I still have that comic somewhere. Pretty cool. Cover's all shiny. It's all shiny. You have that in your store. It's sold out in a minute 30 seconds. The Tears of the Kingdom thing? Dang. I wonder if you can order from like international. If you pay like the shipping. I wonder if you can. Hmm. I think that's why it went under there. It's not cheap. People just bought on Amazon. I mean, yeah, you can't... We need an Amazon competitor. Like, you can't compete. And, like, when they have a store with, like, you know, all their expenses and stuff and not just warehouses, like... I don't know, man. I always, like, I want to like Toys R Us. What's the draft's name? Does he have any... I never really went there. I think I've only been there, like... I'm certain I have not stepped foot in a Toys R Us more than a dozen times in my entire life. We would go to, like, um, we have, like, these super stores here. Like, big, they're, like, department stores, I guess. Jeffrey the Giraffe. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds about right. But, I mean, yeah, like, that's the thing. Even when Amazon started being so popular, they didn't lower their prices. I always wanted, like, I, I would go in there. And I would buy things, or I would want to- I would want to buy something. Even as a kid, I, I could only, like, go there. My parents would only take me there if I had a gift card. Pretty much. And usually we'd get gift cards for the department stores, because they were cheaper. <laughs> Your $50 gift card or $20 gift card, whatever, would go so much further. But you go there and- oh man, it's a lot. I mean, everything is expensive these days. 
Lego? Lego's crazy expensive. I used to buy Bionicle with my allowance. I got like $10, get like the canister with the guy in it. Awesome. That was so amazing. Do they still have Bionicle? I feel like it got, um, what's the word? It got like replaced by Ninjago or something. Is Ninjago any good? I don't know. The Bionicle was so good. No price matching. Yeah, if they at least price matched, that would be something, I guess. Maybe maybe if they had, like, super fancy toys that were really expensive, but they catered to, like, a fancier audience. Not audience. Clientele, I guess. If they catered to, like, rich people with ritzy kids who needed, like, Barbie luxury mobile or something. Super dream house. Maybe that would have worked. But I think the problem is that they kind of marketed themselves towards just everybody. But then the price point wasn't affordable for everybody. Anyway, I think that it's not just me, right? I know, like, my family's cheap. I'll, I'm the first to say it. I'm cheap and my family's cheap. We don't like paying too much for stuff. You know, we're, we're very frugal. I think that's kind of a Canadian thing anyways. I think Canadians don't like paying too much for stuff. But... I feel like Toys R Us was always really bad with that. Like, I'll... Toys... Okay. Toys R Us, like... Going into a Toys R Us always felt pretty magical. Because it's a whole store with toys. So, I did always love going to Toys R Us. But I always left disappointed because I would want something. My parents were like, this is too much. Or like, this is cheaper. Or whatever. You know, we'll go get it there. Put it on your birthday list. That, that was such a... That was such a go-to. Okay, put it on your birthday list. You know, put it on your Christmas list. <laughs> that kind of thing. Video games there. Yeah, video games are the same everywhere. I think they have to be. I think they have to be. Plus, that's also really competitive. I don't think you could get away with charging more for that. Everybody knows what Switch games cost. Nobody knows what, you know, Bionicle costs. Or Lego whatever. Lego Star Wars set, what that costs or Hot Wheels or Barbie, like, there's, you know. But everyone knows that Switch games are, you know, six, uh, 59 US? <laughs> yeah. They're $79.99 here. And Tears of the Kingdom cost me over a hundred bucks. But it was so worth it. <laughs> Circlet on the book that comes out during holiday season, yeah. Which they would send to me, too, because... Clearly, there's a child that lives in this house. <laughs> Even when I had my job, I think I wouldn't go to Toys R Us. I don't know. I always wanted to, but it just, uh, you know. I can't remember the last time you flipped through a brochure. When I was a kid, I would go through, like, oh, we had... We had another big department store, and I, I would go through the... I actually loved looking at jewelry booklets when I was a kid. I liked looking at all the sparkly jewelry stuff, especially at Christmas time. They'd make them all, like, super sparkly and beautiful. Like, I always liked looking at all the pictures. <laughs> Child's name is Henry. Yeah. But I'm trying to think of, like, the last few things that I bought online, and it's like... You know, video games. Video games and pens. Lo lots of pens. And, like, hex bugs. And the, the Mario movie. Like, it really does seem like a child lives here. You know? To, to the point where, like, if, if we got some... For some reason, somebody came here looking for a child, it would be hard to convince them that there's no kid. I mean, there's no kid-sized clothing. No, there is, because Henry wears kids' clothes sometimes. I have a little tiny Spider-Man shirt for him. But then I'd be like, what, there's a kid who wears two shirts? Come on. We don't own any child pants, so that would be kind of awkward. <laughs> but, yeah, like... I don't know. I love this room. I'm so happy in here. It's It's got, like, all my favorite stuff. I've got bookcases full of art books and things. I got, like, you know, my art books and game guides. And I've got I've got my Starlink toy. You know, the, the little ship with the ice and the fire blasters. And I've got little Plants vs. Zombies zombie guy. Yeah, dragons. I got a little plushy Michelangelo over there. 
I got this adorable little wooden shark that looks like he's smiling. I think you're supposed to paint it, but I don't really want to paint it. It's just so cute. Little squirtle Lego thing, but it's not Lego. It's that other one. Yeah. I just, and oh yeah, and then of course there's the Detolf, like, display case just full of, like, Pokemon. It's just full of Pokemon. It's really awkward, too, because the shelves are, like, a foot and a half high, and the Pokemon are, like, an inch high. And I keep meaning to get some of those acrylic risers. So there's just, like, Pokemon for, like, two inches, and then just, like, you know, a foot of empty space above them. I gotta get some of those acrylic risers. I want to put my amiibos in there. Hey, if you guys have any, like, if you have your amiibos on, like, acrylic risers that they, like, fit and look nice, uh, let me know. Or put them in the Discord or, like, whatever. Because I want to get some. <laughs> Two shirts, no pants sounds like neglect. If the dog wears pants, when we take him out, how is he gonna, you know, how's he gonna do his business if he got pants on, you know? Imagine taking the dog out on a walk and he's wearing pants. You're like, oh, are you gonna poop? Okay, hang on a second. You, like, pull down the dog's pants so he can go to the bathroom. <laughs> or, or cut some weird holes in them. That would be funny. You know, when you think about it, like, dogs do wear pants. Like, okay, he has a little snowsuit that has pants. But you want to know something funny? The things that people wear pants to cover up are the parts that are cut out of dog pants. You ever think about it that way? Kind of funny. Kind of backwards. <laughs> hey, Annie Seven, got a scoot. Have a good scoot. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't been doing a lot more chatting. We do usually chat a lot, but we usually get a little bit more music stuff done. But this has been really- I feel like everyone just came in that I haven't seen in a while. I feel like I'm catching up with old friends. This is nice. But yeah, nice to- nice to meet you and stuff. Sent you a daft ASCII logo on the Twitters. Oh, hey, thanks. Cool. Yeah, have a great weekend. I'm streaming tomorrow morning, which I, I don't usually stream on the weekend, which is why I'm saying it so much. Or we're doing some Breath of the Wild, so if you feel like popping in and you're around, there's that. Otherwise, hope you have a great weekend. And then I'm back Monday after that. And then Sunday's the puppy's birthday. I'm gonna make him a kibble cake. He doesn't know. He doesn't know, chat. Oh my gosh, he's like a kid who doesn't know it's Christmas Eve. I'm excited. I'm gonna make him a little peanut butter kibble cake. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> I feel like I don't want this going up twice. Oh, it's not. Album release stream. I was thinking of, you know, Bandcamp has like release, like listening parties. And I was like, man, I don't know how that works. Sounds kind of scary. But then I thought, well, maybe I should do that. But I don't know. I don't know. The other thing is I feel like a lot of people who do well, actually, that would probably be the way to do it. I haven't really decided if I'm going to do it or not. But I feel like two days before is kind of short notice. But I mean, I could. I was sort of... Okay, I, I was meaning to ask you guys this and I forgot. Right? So, for me right now, it's 6.30 p.m. So, midnight is like six hours away. Five and a half. So, I was thinking, maybe... Because I'm, I'm going to be up late tomorrow night. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't usually go to bed on time the day before an album release, you know? Partly because I'm, like, anxious about, oh, is every little thing perfect? I have to test listen to it a bunch and make sure it's all good, even though, you know... Or, or even once it's out already, oh, I gotta listen to it, make sure it's all good, uh, whatever, right? But I was like, man, if I'm up late tomorrow night anyway, maybe I should do, like, an album launch party, like, right at midnight. So technically Sunday at midnight, like Sunday morning. But then I thought, who's gonna be around? It's midnight. No one's gonna be around, but it is on the weekend. So I don't know, we could. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Would you guys care <laughs> or be around? That'd be on Bandcamp. And I th I don't know how it works. They say to set the date. This is what they they're like, set the date and we'll do the rest, quote. I don't know what that means. Do I just set the date and time and then music starts playing and there's a chat room, like, whether I'm there or not? Like, I don't know how it works, so I'm kind of nervous. But at the same time, who cares, right? So maybe I should just give it a shot. 
<laughs> Shedding a few tears in memory of the old Toys R Us games. What do you mean the old Toys R Us games? They had games? What? What? Hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't spend much time there. I have, like... I have, like, no childhood at uh, Toys R Us. It was pretty much, like I said, just I'd go there because I had a gift card or something and spend it and then that's it. Or I think... Did they do birthday parties? I'm trying to remember. Maybe I... Maybe there was, like, a friend that had a birthday party there. I'm trying to remember why I would be there, but without, like, money to buy stuff. You know, if I had a gift card, man, when you're a kid and you have a gift card, that's like the best. You know? Feel like an adult, maybe not an adult, maybe like a a high school kid with rich parents. They give you their credit card, so it's like it has no limit. I, I always imagine that's what it feels like when you have a gift card. Because you can just go there, and especially like, usually you'd get a gift card for like 10 or 20 bucks. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. But then once in a while you'd get, like, the $50. And I'm like, $50? I was like, I could buy the whole store. You get whatever I want for $50. Like, $50 is so much money when you're a kid. You know? So much money. Hand towels and bedding. Hey, man. Hand towels? Pretty, pretty exciting. Your hands were wet before, and now they're dry. <laughs> Getting 20 felt like getting 100. Getting 100 felt you won the lottery. I never got 100 as a kid. Well, okay, if you add it up. One person gives you 50, someone else gives you 20. You've got some allowance saved up. Yeah. Playing Nights into Dreams. Was that... Wait a second. There was that game that was... Um, I don't... Was Knights the one with... There was... Okay, I don't know if that's the Knights series. That's the one where you play as, like, the genie, right? And it was kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog? Kind of? I like how I specified the Hedgehog. Not the other Sonic. You know, Sonic the Hedgehog. The Hedgehog Sonic. Not the other Sonic. Your parents were divorced. Oh, so you got, like, double... Double, so you got to double dip. I see. <laughs> But yeah, 20 bucks felt like 100. 50 even felt like winning the lottery. It was crazy. I remember one time I went to the department store near here, and I think I had 50 bucks. I must have had 50 bucks, because I got this, like, Pokemon printing thing. It was, like, Pokemon Red Print Studio or something. I don't know if any of you guys had that. But you could print out, you could design and print out, like, little calendars and invitations for your birthday party. You could, like, put Pikachu on it. And be like, come to my birthday, it's gonna be electrifying, or or I'd be shocked if you showed up, or some, whatever. <laughs> With Pikachu, you could, like, print them out. I didn't get to use it much, because ink was so expensive that my parents never let me print stuff, so I just had fun designing things. But there was that. And then I think I also got, like, a couple of Pokemon books at the same time. I was like, whoa, jackpot! Oh, your birthday's in December, so you got you got the birthday. Oh, that's that's a great time for a birthday. Like, right before Christmas, but not right before Christmas. It's not, like, so close to Christmas that you just get the one birthday slash Christmas present. Which is fine if it's, like, a double whammy present, you know. <laughs> there was flying and involved, and it made you think you wanted a Saturn. I think that was right. I think that's the one, Maybe. I know there was one Knights. I thought it was just called Knights. And you played as this... I think it was a genie, but I thought it kind of looked like a cat ninja. But I could be mis... I'm probably misremembering. <laughs> what do I want to do with this? What if we change the duty cycle a little bit?
Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that better. Hey, this is coming along pretty nicely, huh? Slow and steady. That's okay. I feel like I can take my time now, because basically the next album that's, quote, due is October Halloween thing. So we can make some spooky tunes. I have one on the DMD save file. That's it so far for spooky tunes. Yeah, I think we went a little shorter. Yeah. That's pretty sweet! I was just thinking how I made that half-step instrument that I ended up using it, like, just that one time. Just that one time. I think I just saved. Let's save it again. Perfect. I wonder if I could get him to say, and this is really pushing it. I wonder if I could get him to say, I want pizza. That might really be pushing it. I want pizza. I mean, I actually, I do want some pizza, that'd be cool. But, I don't know if we can get him to say that. I... 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 Hmm... Awkward conversation transitions. 
What are you, what are you trying to say, huh? What are you trying to say? You don't like my, uh, elephants? <laughs> but yeah, have a great one. Yeah, don't... That's the thing with people being in different time zones and that. Don't stay up too late. Like, uh, like Kuga mentioned, my stuff is on YouTube if you want to catch up on VODs. And Twitch, for that matter. I know it's not the same, but it's cool to see you. It's nice. And if Kuga's listening, you know, thanks for popping in and letting me know you're watching my VODs on YouTube. That actually, it means a lot. It might not seem like it, but it does mean a lot. And hope you're having a good time watching those. I know it's, it's not the same as watching live, but you still enjoy the ride, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll be, I'll be around tomorrow with Breath of the Wild for a little bit. And if you're around too, then great. I will wish you a happy weekend when I see you. But either way, I'm going to wish you a happy weekend right now too. So, night night. Night and night. The dog will get many hugs and cuddles and stuff. So, maybe we'll try to get him to play with that giggle ball again. Because that thing's pretty fun. I like it, I think, more than he does. But, <laughs> we did get him to play with it a couple times, actually. I was thinking about that since it's his birthday again. Maybe we'll dig it out. Dig it out. It's not, like, put away. It's just in a cupboard because sometimes he gets scared looking at it <laughs> but i want him to not be scared anyways that's off track have a great weekend thanks for coming by it's nice to see you too because it's been it's been like a minute been a minute you know i appreciate it is this better than just using i no it's not let's say i want pizza i i i, I. Okay, now how the heck do we make a... I think that's what I will want. It's probably not gonna go well, but we'll see. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh wait, that... Wait, that's T T. Maybe if we delay this enough. Mm. I love I love the 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 He sounds like Dracula. I want, I want to suck you. I mean, I want pizza. I love 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 He 
He's got a bit of an accent. It's okay. Hey, this is uh, Edward, right? That's what we called him. I'm not sure where to go with it from here, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> kind of a funny little song. What if we, um, let's see. I, no, I wanted this to be all the robot. Let's listen to the other robot songs we have here. I think I'm done with this one for now. Um, that was really loud. Sorry. We listened to Project Owie already. We had Bot Showdown. Oh, we, we have a few. We have a few. All right, let's listen to Bot Showdown. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. I just love this part too much. Oh. No, 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 no. I, I, I. Oh, it's far. No, no, no. I, I, I. Whoops. Okay. Here we go.
Dang, and that one's done. No, 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 no. I, I, I. I like that part. I like the whole thing, actually. And we have Party Bot. I like this. Yeah, we'll just go through these. Oh, this one's separated. Why? What was I missing here? What was this? Or was this gonna repeat? I think... I can't remember. I make I make up codes for myself. And then I don't remember what they're for. I think this means play this. And after here, play this. And then repeat it. And then like fade out on here. Oh, dang. Oh, shoot. We're in- we're deep in banger territory. Holy smokes. I forgot about this one! Dang. Alright, alright. Let's run it from the top. Holy smokes, this thing is- well, smoking. with the bits. It's Twitch being Twitch. Yeah, it flashed for a second. Hey, I appreciate it. The kind words and the bits. Also, I don't really know if you can hear me right now. <laughs> but thank you! Thank you! Oh. Oh, it's basically the same here. That's the thing when I make these things. Like, this is 180 BPM. So, it... Ugh. Man, 180 BPM. Like, it goes by so fast, this whole thing. And this part played through twice. Oh, did it play through twice? I don't think it did. Anyway, it's like a minute and a half. My songs are so short. But, you know, I don't think that's a problem. Because there's a lot of songs that are kind of long. And then even songs that are only, like, four or five minutes. Like, five minutes doesn't seem like a lot of time. Especially if you, you know, gotta catch a bus in five minutes, for instance. But five minutes of listening to one song, like, I don't know if it's just the way society is these days, but sometimes just sitting through five minutes can feel like a long time. I guess depending what it is. So it's it's kind of cool. I guess it's kind of cool that, it, you know, short stuff is good. I try to sometimes make my songs longer, but not not by like padding them or fluffing them up. Cause I don't want them to be longer for the sake of being longer. But whenever I finish a song and it's only like a minute and a half, I'm like, okay, is there anything missing? You know, not like what more can I pack in here? But is there anything missing? In this case, it's just really catchy. I think just this could be a case of just like repeat it here and fade out. Probably be pretty good. Can you hear me? Nice. I wasn't sure. If I go up by the microphone and start yelling, you know. <laughs> but thanks for the bits, I appreciate it. I really don't know what's up with the bits alerts. I feel like that's... I don't know. I feel like that's a Twitch thing, but also I feel like I cheered bits in another channel the other day and it worked. So maybe it's a me problem. But what would the problem be? It flashes for a second and then it disappears. Like, I don't know if you saw... Okay, if I click it right now... Look at that, it shows up and then disappears. It's like it gets scared. It shows up and it's like, oh, I don't want to interrupt. I don't know what that's all about. But it's been like that for a week, because I remember last week you were you were generous and cheering, and it was the same thing. Maybe it'll just be a running joke. You basically live in banger territory. There, that's my worst uh, impression. <laughs> there. <laughs> I'll just have to I'll just have to do it in my horrible bot voice and, and chiptune singing. 
Oh, you know what I should do is- I'm not gonna do this. I should just load up the sounds here and just play them on my own. Actually, wait, do I have that one? I don't think I wrote what any of them are. So, like, I have them. But I don't remember what they're called because whoever thinks about what alerts are, like, what they're called. Nice Brian impression. Thanks. It was- it wasn't that good, but... I think it was this- wait, oh, I think it's this one. I think it's- oh, this might be really loud. This might be loud. I think it's this one. Ta-da! Oh. Okay, that was- we got a bonus! Hey, that last one is the tier 3. That's the tier 3 sub-alert, so that was like a super bonus. <laughs> we never get to hear that one. <laughs> Some of these are pretty good. What was this? What's this one? I don't actually remember what- Yeah, it's kind of funny just hearing them. It's kind of funny just hearing them. Some of these we, like, never hear. Some of them, I think, are very- I have a couple. You guys haven't found them yet. I have a couple super specific ones. I don't even remember what they are. I know for sure there's one really specific one for bits. And I think there's one for tips. And they're both, like, funny amounts. But no one's found them yet. So that's pretty cool. So maybe sometime. Maybe eventually. Maybe when you find them, I'll have to make more. You know what? I wonder if that would be just a fun little thing. I don't know. Hmm. Like, to make one that's just, like, a random, like, a super random amount. Like, that doesn't mean anything. No one would ever find it, though. You know? At least the, the numbers that I picked, they are, like, numbers that people might do as a joke or something like that. But if I just picked, like, if I just put, like, hmm... 235 bits makes this special sound. It could be like a weird treasure hunt, but no one would ever find it. <laughs> like, no one would find it. You know? But that could be a funny thing. Maybe that would work for, like, a big stream, you know, where, where people are, like, competing. They're, like, interrupting each other with the alerts and stuff. You know, those big ones where people are just constantly going? That would probably work for them. Then they'd have people, like, fighting over it, trying to find the, the secret number and whatever. That sounds like a cool idea, but I think I would feel bad doing that. But there are a couple secret ones that are guessable. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Twitch was broken yesterday. Twitch has been broken for me for like a week. And voice mod has been broken too. Let me try voice mod. Let me just try launching it and see if it'll work. Because if it does, then I'll feel really stupid. But also there's been updates to everything and I should probably update stuff. But it feels like every time I update something, everything breaks. Because there's there's so many moving parts. There's like Twitch, OBS, Streamer Bot, Stream Deck. Is that it? <laughs> that might be it. But that's still a lot. Okay, Voice Mod wants me to log in, so I guess it booted me. So I haven't tried it in a hot minute, but maybe that'll be my homework for the weekend. Because I like having the uh the voice mod thingy as like a channel points redeem, you know? Hey, there was also, for a while, I had it, and it wasn't notifying me or it wasn't working right, and I just turned it off because I just felt bad. But it was, like, to change my voice with voice mod, but, like, you... It was, like, a widget that did it, and it was based on bits, but you could just change my voice. It would just go automatically, so it's not, like, me pushing a button. It would just go for, like, 30 seconds or a minute or, like, whatever it was. Except that, to me, that's way better because I don't know that it's gonna happen. You know? So, like, if I put on Brian's voice, I can be- I can just, like, do my best. Wolfpack Spence cheered 100 bits or something. Or whatever. You know? Anonymous user has gifted a tier 1 sub to at Chemixil Boop. Whatever. You know? But when it's, like, it could be, like, mid-sentence or something, that would be really funny. So I want to get that working. I want to get that working. Anyway, mm, I felt like I had more stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about. I don't know. Hey, I was gonna play this song. Here you go. I remember that part. <gasps> I 
I remember this one. I like it. Okay, I don't remember it enough. Jamming though. That made my ears warm. That. This part though? Was it here? No, here. It got big! Like out of nowhere. Just big out of nowhere. Dang. Alright, I like that one. And then we had this other one, but maybe. Oh, this looks pretty uh, unfinished. Alright. Why do I have that? There must be a reason I did that. Alright. I was trying to say baby. No, wait, was I? Or by... I... I don't know what I was trying to do. Anyway, that's an interesting one. Heartbreak Bop. That's what that one was called. <laughs> kind of a weird song, but I like it. And this was about potions. I didn't remember 
this part. I like this. That's heckin' cool, chat. Darn it, I want to change this already. Okay. Yeah, that sounds so sick. Okay, this is gonna be, this is our first song for our Halloween album, Chad. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right. And that's all she wrote for tonight anyway. That's all I wrote for tonight. Um, we gotta go to this. We gotta do that. And I need to, I'm required, chat. I'm required to put this in there one more time just to let you all know just to remind you because maybe you didn't hear me the last few times but all my music is half price this weekend just use code bday dog 
Because you know it's it's Henry's birthday. It's Henry's birthday on Sunday. It's Henry's birthday. And so Doggy Made Ants 4 is coming out on Sunday. You can pre-order it now for half price. It's only five buckaroos. Five Canadian bucks. You know, that's cheap. That's cheap. Especially if you're in the States or anywhere that's not Canada, basically, because our dollar sucks. Yay! That's good for you guys. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So the sale's on all weekend, and it's good on all my stuff, including the pre-order, as you know. We should go on a raid. Oh, hey, I think I know who we're going to raid. I think I know who we're going to raid, chat. Wait a second, I got two people I'm looking at. Oh, man, I got two people. What do I do when there's two people? What do I do when there's two people? What do we do, flip a coin? Do we flip a coin? Uh, I don't know. What if we go see... Oh, man. Oh, man. I want to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who to raid. Hmm. Well, you know what? Okay. I have decided. I have decided, chat. We're gonna go see Derek. We're gonna go see One Line Derek. Because he's not playing Tears of the Kingdom. So it's a safe raid, number one. And he's doing a charity night. With Cheese Pops and some other people that I've heard of. And some other people that I am not familiar with. And they're playing TMNT Shredder's Revenge. So that's pretty cool. So, you know. We're, we're Turtles fans. We are talking about Turtles either. Earlier. Not either. We are talking about Turtles earlier. I played a little bit of Shredder's Revenge. It was pretty sweet. It was pretty sweet. So we're gonna go see him. It's charity stuff. It's good just, you know, get some more eyeballs on it and stuff. So we're gonna go see Derek. Thank you so much for hanging out and everything. And again, a big enormous thank you to everybody who already pre-ordered Doggy Made Dance 4. It, it warms my little heart that you guys enjoy my music. My goofy little Game Boy tunes with my puppy dog barks. Like, it's just fun stuff. It's fun to make. I think it's fun to listen to. Clearly, other people think so, too, and that makes me so happy. So, big thanks. And reminder that, you know, the album comes out on Sunday, and you'll be able to listen to the whole thing on the website, whether you buy it or not. But if you want to download it, that's where you gotta buy it. But you can, you can listen to it for free. That's all good. So, whatever you want to do. But let's go see Derek. I'll I'll be back with Breath of the Wild tomorrow morning. Probably I'm planning about like same time as last week, an hour later than my regular start time during the week. You know, you know I'll sleep in an hour. As long as the dog lets me anyway. That's what one of the songs is about, by the way. That's what time to wake up is about. Cause even on days I get to sleep in, the dog's like, I oh, know you don't. So I'm always up by like eight o'clock, seven o'clock. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everything, you guys. I will see you tomorrow. I put the... Wait, did I put the... I didn't put the raid spam! I didn't put the raid spam. Here's our raid spam. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now we're all set. Thank you, guys. Have a super great weekend. If I don't see you tomorrow, we're back with Tears of the Kingdom on Monday. And if I do see you tomorrow, well, we're doing Korok hunting in Breath of the Wild. So that'll be fun, too. And I'll see you later. Bye for now.